Dogs and Podcast. My hat fell off, and I don't even give a fuck because we got uh, one of my homies in the building. Became a homie through hip hop, which we kind of briefly touched on before um, on the show. Is like hip hop. I met a lot of good people, bro, and uh, definitely one of them right here. We became homies, fam, right here. Without further ado, my brother Crazy. What's up, dog? Rabbit season is in the motherfucking full effect. Yeah, yeah. You know Finally. what I'm saying? See my see my brothers do this. You know what I mean? Like you guys, nine, ten years strong, still kicking them out every Monday night. Oh yeah. Doing the damn thing, and and now they decided just to come back and say, you know what? Let's do a let's do a podcast too. Let's get more in depth. And you let's know, chop it up. Let's let's talk some real shit. So, and that's what it was. Kudos, brothers. That's what it was about. Is like I felt like sometimes we would get in get into good conversations yeah. with, with some of the artists, and then uh, and it was like, damn, well, we got another artist waiting. So it's like we don't got to do that here. So let's get right in depth to it. Uh, crazy race. Yes, sir. You ever seen a grown man naked? What movie is that from? Airplane. <laughs> okay, okay. Ding, but ding, ding, ding. So, no, we're yeah. still on last week's uh, podcast hey, with f- Jeff Echo about talking about movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, movies or, are dope. Or, or do you like movies are fucking dope. Scraps rubs up and down your <laughs> leg. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> Speaking on what you just said, right? <laughs> oh. Crazy Race, have you ever seen a grown man naked? The funniest shit is to this day, every now and then I'll bust that out on my son. And he just starts fucking like, Dad, why are you asking me that? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm hey, like, it's the movie. Know. It's yeah, the yeah. fucking movie. So, you got to so, watch it, though. So, you know, yeah. So, at least you show your, your son good movies. I, I was telling Echo, too, when we had him on the last show, is like our, uh, like, we, we watched Cheech and Chong when they oh, first yeah. came out. Classics. Because my dad and my uncle and them would just like to go to the drive-in, get, you know, twisted, dog, and. And watch movies, and you know, we just happened to be part of it. We didn't get that's right. right. But hey, you, you got to see some dope ass movies. Oh, in the process. hell yeah, bro. We saw a lot of shit. First dog. experience yeah. in hot boxing, it hot boxing, yeah, hot, hot box. We hot, didn't know what it was. The hot boxing yeah, movie hot experience, boxing, uh, we just knew we ate all the popcorn. And I'll tell you this, for fell asleep before the movie. <laughs> ended. Movies like some movies for me growing up and like driving style that I could just forever fucking remember is like uh, seeing uh, Escape from Alcatraz. Oh, you know uh, what I'm saying? The like Clint Eastwood one. Yeah, exactly. Okay, the, yeah. yeah, the OG, like going, yeah. taking it way back then and, and seeing those flicks like that, man, that's just like, that's some heavy yeah. shit. But hey, they're back, man. Yeah, These driving cool. theaters are back. There's a couple that are open. I think Paramount is open. Actually, a, well, it's the only way to watch movies nowadays right? with everything now going on with the pandemic. Be, besides, Crazy. O- besides ordering at the crib or whatever. Yeah, that, yeah you of know, course. Or but, but what I was going to say is um, that's how I, I don't know if you got to check it out yet. I, I really want to see it because I want to support in that way. But um, I'm still con- I haven't seen it yet, but I'm still contemplating either the drive in or ordering it at the crib okay. uh, for uh, the, uh, the, the tax collector. I did see it. You saw it? Yeah, All right. I did see it. I, you know, I did like it. Um, you know, there's there, you know, I mean, the move, the movie itself, it, it it has parts of it that you know that we're gonna touch on. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, just yeah. just the, the type of movies that, that that we do. You know what I'm saying? But it, it was written by you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, what's his name? Ayers, right? A- David Ayers. There you go. Yeah. But uh, Conejo did his thing in that movie. Shia did his thing. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy to see him in character playing that part. You know what I'm saying? But uh. Overall, you know what I mean? I, I like the flick. I like the flick. I streamed it. I think I rented it. You know what I'm saying? That, that, and, uh, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. But um, that's the thing. Uh, La Boeuf. La Boeuf. Yeah. La Boeuf. La Boeuf. Boeuf. Whatever Boeuf, you yeah. want to call him. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, the way, but Shia yeah. La Boeuf. Um, La Boeuf. There you he, go. He, La Fuch. He, 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 <laughs> hey, you eat all the fusion glass. Hey, uh, <laughs> but uh, he he can play. I've I've seen some a lot of his work, and he he can play characters, bro. So oh. that's part of acting, bro. Let's be one hundred, bro. He yeah. remember he he came. You know what I'm saying? He lived in uh not that he lived there, but he did the Transformer movies and yeah. killed yeah. that shit. Or yeah. even way before that, I remember my my younger brother would would watch him on some show on that used to be on the Disney Channel back in the day. Holes or something. Like yeah. That. Okay. Like okay. He, like he was a, he was like a teenager. Like already, you know, way back then doing. But I don't know if you guys caught the what I thought was real dope is if you caught the trailer to the the prelude of the movie. Like when the movie dropped, uh, all the actors and actresses that are in, most of the actors that are involved, they all come from one dojo. Did you guys see that? I didn't. I didn't. So yeah, Conejo. There's there's the sensei. Mm-hmm. 
uh, uh, Shia or Shia, however you say his name, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Bobby Soto, I believe, is the lead actor's name. I think it's Shay. There you go. Yeah, th- th- all three, four of them. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. they're all part of the same dojo, and it, it, it kind of fucking tripped me out. And I'm like, wait a minute, like these cats just got together, and just kind of said, I'm writing a movie, and then I'm having the dudes in my own dojo that just happen to be good at what they do, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And put them together and did a movie. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I yeah, thought that was dope. real dope. I caught that. You know what I'm saying? After the fact, but uh, I I didn't get I didn't see that one, but I'll, I'll catch up once. Yeah. From the reviews, I've seen, though, that um, I've been seeing a lot of reading a lot of people talk about it. Yeah. I've seen it, and a lot of people are really praising uh, Conejo's performance, bro. They're bro, I think he was a good a fucking, good uh, yeah, I think w- what what the, what the they wrote from, you know what I'm saying? What, you know what I mean? I don't know I don't know the director, uh, the writer's name right now off top. You guys said it. But um, I think he, he, you know what I'm saying, he put him in. And, you know what I mean? I think Conejo even said, like, you know what I mean? What's my name in the movie? And the dude said, Conejo. I mean, he's all right, let's do it, you know? Oh, I, I caught that. And then he said, like, certain lines. I caught a little clip of a, of a Conejo. Hey, a matter of fact, bro, like, eventually we're going to get him on the podcast, too, dog. I already I talked to him on the phone about that. He's just mad busy, obviously, yep. with the shit. But he was saying in that, li- w- with the movie coming out, but he was saying in that clip that, um, <coughs> that uh, e- even certain parts, he felt it was... As his character, he felt it was more believable saying it in Spanish or whatever. Yeah. So, like, he asked the dude, like, you know. It, oh, yeah. I, I think. I'm like, sure he put his twist on oh, it. Oh, yeah. You know? And and then he said, bro, do it. We'll put the fucking, you know, the subtitles or whatever. And But the thing is, just saying certain lines. Well, you know, because you know sp- Spanish as well, I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I don't know as much as I should. But yeah, I'm I, still a pochito, though. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, same. Well, I'm actually sure we're, we're half white I'm and half Mexican, Spanish. but this is what we grew up. You know, I'm saying with all with mostly my mom's side, which is the Mexican side, and and the thing is, is um, that's how we learned a lot of our Spanish. And then neighbors we had growing up. Um, I mean, me personally, yeah, and then yeah. ho- ho- best friends of mine, I'll be at their pad, and their parents would, you know. So I learned that way. But the thing I'm getting at is that there's certain things. That you can say in English or Spanish, and it do, a phrase, this phrase or this phrase, but it's it's more powerful when you say it in Spanish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or this phrase is more powerful when you say this certain thing in my English. My grandmother used to tell you know me saying? Spanish is a beautiful language. Oh man. yeah, hell yeah. My, you know what I mean? Rest in peace to my grandma Mary. But yeah, she used to say that all the time. Like yeah. Spanish, Espanol is a beautiful yeah, language. Just like the way one of the ways I learned was yeah, like well you know when they're like actually talking shit about you, whether it's yep. Spanish, English, or Chinese. You're gonna yeah, tell. yeah, yeah. So I had to learn. Yeah, the, there nah, it is. Not that they always talk shit, but still, you know, like you kind of learn. You can kind of tell what what um attitude is being or whatever what the conversation is about kind of and and i understand a lot but it, when I, I always get made fun of if i try to speak it back so i just i answer back in english it is what it is fuck dude I, my re- <laughs> uh, my regular gig i'm doing right now during the day man like um there's a dude he's like the the warehouse dude like he fucking drives forklifts like a like a speed racer dog mm-hmm. like he's I guess he's been doing it for a long time, and he's, you know he's pretty pretty white. And uh, the other the other homie that drives like the trucks does a lot of the driving. Um, he's a the Mexican homie dog, and he know he knows English, but he, he has a little accent a uh, little bit. And uh, right. but he always comes in there. They clown, and he always teaches them shit. Says hey hey say this shit, and he'll the the, the dude the white dude will yell that shit from across. And we'll be over there doing something, and you just hear this fool say some crazy <laughs> shit, and we just start busting up, dog, because it sounds funny, bro. He, right. he, but that, he, he actually tries to say it pretty close. But he's it. saying it in, 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 in everybody's view too. Everybody can hear that. Oh shit. yeah, it's, it's loud as far as yeah. Far. And then you hear a, a white dude saying some shit in Spanish, and he's usually talking shit. Yeah. So it, it's shit. just funny, bro. Like yeah, you know that's the relationships we we build. Hey, uh, I was gonna get at race like. We kind of led into, and we'll get into the music more too. But we led into the, um, you know, films right off. I was just clowning, but how you were able to go into that is because you're a, you're a man of many hats, bro. You you've uh, taken things in your own hands sometimes because yeah. you do have uh, the label Realism Realism Records, <laughs> uh, the label and everything, and certain artists. Um, come to you for advice or even work with you on your label 
Um, so you got to take things into your own hands and you, man, you've learned a lot of shit. You oh, got yeah. a, you got a lot of different things on the visual side going, right? Yeah, no, I think it's, I think it's all part of the, you know, it's all part of the umbrella of just being an artist. Yeah. You know, we like it, it, it com- we, we come in like th- in this industry, it really, st- obviously music was a big part of who I am. But when I came into this business, it was like, all right, I'm going to go be a recording engineer. I was, I was already an artist, but I was like, I'm going to go be a recording engineer. That's what I want to do. You went to school, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go do that. I'm, I'm gonna go do that, and then it starts there, and then it went to, nah. You know what? You're gonna start your own independent label, and you're gonna put out your own music, and then see where it goes, and then obviously turned into realism, and then the visuals just came with it because it was like I'm doing videos with other people, and I'm I'm seeing what they're doing and how they're doing. I'm like, I could do this, you know. And, and, and hats off to those cats because you know what I mean they're they're showing me the ropes on set. Right, I, I'm just I'm there being a rapper, but they're like, yeah, do this, try this, just do this shot. You know what I mean? And I'm watching the angles. I'm like, yo, that, we could do this. So once the visuals came, it was like a, it was almost like a second addiction because I think visuals for me personally, as much as I may not do it as much as writing and and making a record, I think visuals is fucking just that dope that I continue like to do. You know what I mean? Besides photography, but I like video even better. Well, that too with the visuals, you you do photography, um, you do events, different things, you do people's music videos and yeah, business um, commercials, all that shit. Uh, uh, yeah, all that and and that's what it is. Is like this whole, it like when you get into this shit, like I I get it. Like at first, cats, I'm the rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this is you what ev- I do. Yeah, you evolve, man. You you evolve, but not only that for the longevity of the whole thing. Yeah. They're they're realism th- there you go realism uh-huh. of the thing is you're probably not gonna still be rapping when you're probably maybe 60 or no. 50 but you can still be engineering producing doing visual do it uh, you know what i'm saying behind the scenes shit yeah and absolutely yeah and, and you know you know with me um like it <laughs> it probably seems the people that see me like like I've, I've hosted some pretty big shows bro and i'm I'm proud of those, and that's why I talk about them or show pictures about Rabito, them. Rabito, you're dope at what the th- th- fuck th- you hey, do, brother, period. Thank, thank you, sir. Point blank. Thank you. Uh, and I wasn't even reaching for Radio, that. No. Thank you, sir. Radio thank host, you, sir. show host, yeah. good man. You know what I'm saying? Family, 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 family. Thank, thank you, sir. And that's why I had you on the show today. No, we're done. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, give him 100 bucks yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, but but that that's the thing is, like, I'm, I'm really um, feeling that shit when I do it. And 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 the people don't know that I actually like prepare like for that shit. Like I yeah. don't have everything because right. uh, uh, obviously right. you hear me right. when I crack. Ra- mm-hmm. You see me host and I'll ho- and I'll crack random jokes like feeling the crowd out and shit. But it, so all of it's not pre done, but a whole bunch of it is, bro. Yeah. Like I I fucking like I've studied this shit for a long time, and I I as a person in the crowd, I want to be hyped up. I don't want to see a dude in the back. You're bad coming mood. in polished. Oh, I come in you've, fucking. You've hyped. rehearsed this a couple I, times. I'm jumping around, bro, like like rabbits do and shit. But um, the point I was getting at is that I'm still soaking up knowledge from everybody. On yeah. me, it's more as I think the inter- the the entertainment piece as a whole. Uh huh. And this is uh, a conversation I just wanted to have with you, just because we probably never had this one, but as, as homies. But I I I see the entertainment piece as a whole so whether we're putting on like a tv show yep uh concert of uh, like oh, we've done some good ones you've been there live and streams yeah anything whatever it is so i take that piece and then try to um do the best i can at at, at whatever we could do like see even rallying team members bro yeah. like people don't see the shit i do and I, and i'm only speaking this bro not I guess to give people a little more insight, it is Rabbit Season podcast, but I guess maybe sometimes people might not see what I'm really doing when I'm at places yeah. because I do get the into behind it. the scenes. Yeah, the I have a taking good time. that extra step. Oh yeah, but oh, yeah. I, and I have a good time, and I'll be drinking and smoking something. Yep. But I, I hope people don't misconstrue that as me slacking off on my job because I do all the pre work, I do all the after work, I do all the work in between. But I guess what I was getting at is I see a entertainment piece as a whole and then i just try to go all in on that whether it's rallying team but so as the viewers uh-huh. i always think that and I, and i'm and i'm sure you 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 think of this as a as a record label head but um y- you you want to give the the viewers the listeners 
the best experience they can by fucking with you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and whether th- yeah, there's a headliner at a show I host, but I still want to give the best to accent the in between parts. But see, like, see what you're saying, like right now coming from that energy. That's why when when people are saying, "Yo, race," I've seen your live show. Yeah. And you're like, bro, like. Oh, you're like you're, you're oh, heavy. Yeah. You're heavy as fuck. And yeah. what, but what you're talking about, everything about the preparation or the like, the fact that I'm just I'm, I'm gonna lay it all. I'm gonna lay it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it all out here tonight. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna give these people a fucking great time. We're gonna rock. Mm-hmm. That's how I come to a live show. Yeah, that's it, it's that it's that same passion. It's that same energy that you know that that same story. It's yeah. like we bring it every single Monday yeah. night. Yeah. Like, you know, there that's what we yeah. do. Like, you know, preparation. Like, you know, it's like a week's preparation. Sometimes and even if shit flies off handle every now and then, we all have our technical difficulties. Yeah. I forget fucking lyrics. Oh, oh well. Yeah, you yeah. know what? That's part of the live show. You're going to remember. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker is human. Yeah. You can't, can't forget every now and then. Plus, he got blunted in the parking lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. True and story. That, yeah. <laughs> and we do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We exactly. do do that. Hey, what is it that, um, real quick uh, question, though, like you were talking about the videography and the photography? Yeah. Is it all self-taught? Did you, or did you go? No, that's that? what I'm saying. Like, just seeing, uh, I've always had cameras growing up yeah. here and there. You know what I mean? Whether it was the fucking little one where you put the film in and fucking snap it and then, you know what I mean? Push the button back. You know what I mean? It yeah, was yeah. Fi- from film to c- Kodak shit, but or the Polaroid camera. All that, all that. Mm-hmm. So I've always had like been been into photography anyway. But uh, ask me the question again. My bad. I just want to. Oh, just up. Uh, the, the, it was a self like, There you the go. There you the go. The camera, the the how to work so it and all that. So pretty much, pretty much the majority. I would say, if anything, that I caught was besides being an avid like film fan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, so y- you're seeing angles already. Right, we're already seen angles from other music videos. We're already oh, seen angles from see our it. favorite films, so that already kind of taught me. And then when you go do a music video, like I'm saying, and you got somebody like Bronson, um, I've had a couple other heads, my boy Mig, you know, what I'm saying other people done videos. You see how they work, right? So now when you pick up the camera, you got the camera now too. It's like you got a little bit of what you've seen. You got you got what they've already shown you, and so you're, of course you're taking on, you know what I mean? And you're like, fuck it, let's, let's try this. And you you just run with it, but it's it really has it's been all majority of it been self taught, especially on the editing side. And what about even the mechanics of the actual camera, like the the different lenses and the you know how you work? That's it. some YouTube shit too. Yeah, Let's keep I, it real. It, you know it, what no, I mean? Oh, like, but I mean I've seen some. Sometimes I'm like you know, and I, f- I feel like I know how to do all you know a yeah. lot of this stuff. But but sometimes, oh, no. sometimes I'll you got to learn, brother. See a camera, and I'll see there's so many damn buttons on them on that motherfucker. I'm yeah, like, dude, is it all this shit really do shit? Like, well look at look at a, look at a recording a recording console. Yeah. Right, like I'm talking SSL Neve board. Like, you got what is that? How many channels is that? This is only uh, four channels. There you go. Or actually, uh, six or four so mic inputs. So think of an 80, 80 channel, f- you know what I mean, board with, with flying faders, and that motherfucker's going like this to you like, by itself. You're like, how is it doing that? Oh, I've seen a couple. That's of that what I'm shit saying. So me the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like that. It's all part of it. It's all you know what I mean. But even that, I got schooled in. So like, I just, I don't know. When when I soaked up the music industry, the entertainment industry, when I came in, I said, fuck it. I came in as obviously as this, as 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 an artist, and I've just kind of soaked up a lot of different things. And, and I guess you know that's kind of what I what I was aiming for with my my uh, spiel there. But it was like, um, it, it's like, what would you want? Like, if you were the fan, it, because I've been to so many shows too. Yeah. And that's the other thing I've seen so many people perform. So now oh, you see me rock my same set probably like eight times. <laughs> oh, d- Let's keep oh, it 100. Hey, but it don't matter because that shit's live and it gets the go. crowd alive. Yeah. And that and that's the thing, that energy and you, the vibe um, that someone is feeling. You make them like you're part of the reason they could go home and say, like, we spent our money well buying a ticket. We got faded. Yeah. Uh, honey, let's now go home and proceed to fuck. Hey, but you know what I'm saying, though? That Rabbit season. Yeah. You know, Quote that shit. Let's fucking... Proceed to fuck. Let's multiply. <laughs> no, but no, but you you get what I'm uh what I'm doing what I'm going at it here is that um, wi- wi- as a fan I I try to think that yeah so I, I'm sure that comes into play because you're you're also a fan of hip hop, bro. So you don't want to go to a show and see somebody just standing there like they don't give a fuck or yeah. or or they're tired and they want to go. They had a long day, bro. Yeah. I have a long fucking day yeah. every day, bro. But oh, and, and we've had them on stage too, oh, you know. Shit. Yeah, but uh, but I'm, I I ain't gonna go with the intention of right. you know, showing my long day on the phone. Oh, or you. even the interviews. I'm sure there's Thank interviews you. that you've had too, where uh, you know, all right, this, you know, having this conversation, we're gonna interview, and then like each question you ask is uh, 
Yeah. The answer is yeah. Uh-huh. Nope. Nope. Yep. They uh, just nod their head. Yeah, Pro- it, it probably. Oh, okay, so I guess you have nothing to add to that. Okay. Right. Yeah. So and this is, but wait, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> this is this is your career. Like this is. Yeah. yeah. You're you're trying to big up yourself right now, so these people want to support hey, you. Hey, there's been a and couple you're not of. Saying, oh, of course, I, we've yeah. had them on relevance too. Yeah. Right. But, but it's, it's, you know, it's not. I mean, sometimes they just they're just maybe they're just nervous to do that. I, like, I've I've talked about this. I think a lot a lot of times you got to remember, like artists are artists. So when when some oh, people speak yeah. on the mic and and they say that song, it's meant for that motherfucking record. You that's them talking to you. You see yeah. what I'm saying? As opposed to like you interview me, like bro, you're asking me like a cliche question. Not to hey. say that we are, but I'm just saying you're just asking me like, yeah. bro, I'm trying to fucking be out here right hey, now. No, like, no, and I get that. And then and but, some people are introverts but too. Then period. There's, but then there's also the part of but you're promoting something, so yeah. you, you got to kind of tell people because I, I don't know where you can find because I can't tell them everything. Yeah. Hey, hold on a second, race. Check it. Oh yeah. Oh. That's yes. how we're going to do it. Small commercial break. Hey, Part yeah. two. Hey, uh, the but, get down. you know, someone. The get down. Someone like, yeah, um, comes to mind like when we were talking about people that maybe they're like, that's not their number one thing is to go talk. Let me go talk about myself. Yeah. But it is promotion. But something that came, came to mind is uh, the homie. And I think I've talked to him about it before at another one of his live performances. But Solo the Secret came through with. Um, in a group setting with a couple other homies and shit. I think it was a... It's probably the Animal Camp. It was a project. No, they were working on with the... So, oh, was it Greenhouse? Spit Savage? Greenhouse? With some of the... Gre- yeah. yeah, Greenhouse Project. Greenhouse yeah. Project yeah, yeah, but it wasn't called that. It was something else. Or they added him to I can't remember. But anyways, this was years ago, right? And we're just running down the line because I had, like, a lot of people to interview. And... uh and I, and I remember saying, oh, yeah, what about you? Something. I forgot what the question was. And he, he just like, yeah, man, I just, he goes, I just can't. Honestly, I just came to fucking rock, dog. Like, yeah. I don't give a shit about talking. Let them talk. Like, yeah. he straight up. It was something like that. And I can't remember exactly. But I, I, I like. Let me just kill this fucking dur- microphone During the quick. interview, I got, I got it. Like, that actually pumped me up. It, he gave me some inspiration because I felt it, like that hunger. Yeah. And I was like. All right, cool, because they'll talk, but you guys are going to rock a set, and, yeah. and dog, he went in, dog, like, you know what I'm saying? So Hey, yeah. let's let's keep it 100. Like, if, if depending on who the group was, the, ain't none of them, are, you know what I'm saying, are chumps. They could all spit, too. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Let, let's be thorough about oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Solo. Not, not nothing against anybody, but yeah. he, he was just, like, honestly, like, basically saying – he he came to let them do the interview. I just came because they told me I could spit. Basically, I want to rock. Yeah, he yeah. was like, they told me I could get a mic and spit. That's why I'm. That's why I'm here, you know. And I thought that was pretty dope. It's trippy. Oh, there's some artists though too. They're like <clears throat> the opposite, maybe. Oh yeah. They, they don't really want to rap as much. They'd rather just talk. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like I'm done rapping. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and, yeah, know and, and <laughs> you know that the interview. Uh, it's like it's about to end, and, th- and they're still talking because they want to just keep fucking. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's keep the interview going, and then Ra- and then Rabbit's gonna ask another question. Yeah, know? like and Rabbit does. Like I'm having fun, man. This is all about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even have to work or nothing. I just talk. But how many times? Think about it that way. Like how many times have brothers and people just in general that came on here on the B side? I'm talking about. And said, "This is fucking dope. Like I'm, oh, yeah. I am, I well, am having a good time. Like, well, yeah, at least uh, I, this is dope energy. I want, you know? I want to come back. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that. You know what I'm saying? We were talking about earlier off here. We we're talking about energy and, and just, you know, what I'm saying all that shit. But this, that's, 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 this is like home right here, man. Yeah, this is, it's family. People look around now. We're getting back to putting stuff up because we were going yeah. through, you oh, know, yeah. a little transition period where we didn't know if we were still going to be at this spot or not." And now we're getting back to putting up some artwork and everything. Yep. And that that's one of the things during that transition is people would say, damn, you know what, though? I missed, like, everything up, like the artwork. And yeah. it, it just adds more of that vibe of, like, yeah. especially you guys get custom pieces and shit. And, and one of those things, too, is, like, um, you know, I've seen it, and I, and I know for sure it's a fact that once they, they did that interview here, that that's when they hey, – I'm going to do more interviews. I want to get on the other shows because they weren't really looking to it for maybe – but after that, they got their feet wet. But hey, enough about us, though. Crazy race. How did but you? How did you start up. realism? Well, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, no. All, all I was gonna say is, well, I hear exactly what you're saying, but you gotta remember, we've had a, a lot of interviews where these guys are seasoned too. 
like to be the oh, devil's right. advocate in the room. Yeah. yeah, there's those there's those MCs that have been on the you know what I'm saying this this could be their first interview, second interview, or they got here and just like that vibe. And they're like, fuck yeah, we need to find more spots like this. But I'm saying, look at how many seasoned motherfuckers like some real like. You know, we're coming on. We're like almost like, all right, what are we gonna talk about? You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, and we're the we're the hosts and interviewers. So yeah, that's true too. Though. But yeah, that's what's good about this guy. Not to you know, what I mean, this is rabbit season, but I'm bigging him up is the fact that rabbit feels comfortable in any situation around that. You know, what I'm saying he knows his hip hop. He's a fan first, and he's gonna rock with you, talk with you, and it's not gonna all the other all the other shit is out the window. Like there's oh, no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like he's we're here. To he's really about the culture. We're yeah. really about to do a job here. Like we're gonna yeah. do it right. And know? it's not you're yeah. not trying to do an interview so you can bring out some social media controversy or something that. Yeah. Hey, yeah. what about you know so and so said about you on here and, and or even whatever? It's not like you know it's none of that. This is like crap, what I man. like really I dig doing this. But yeah, one of the things and I've studied all the greats, but I've never wanted to be personally the the take I have. I've never wanted to be. Like sh- what do they call shock jock or, status? Or like yeah. bait, you know, yeah, like bait, bait, click, bait, yeah, click, yeah, click, bait. I said bait, click, yeah. fucking all this. <laughs> that sounds like a that's porno. Different. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's, porno. What, that's what happens when you smoked. What's what's it called over here? What's oh, the, the, I think it was Chapo G, OG Chapo. Oh, yeah, right. but what did you guys call the bong? Oh, the Yoda. There you go. That motherfucker. Well, it actually has a face of Yoda on it. it and you know, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> this is Crota right here. So. Crota, Crota's in the house. Oh, you already know that shit, Crota. When I put that shit up about myself. I did it to myself. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Tell me that shit wasn't classic. Hey, <laughs> you did the original graphic? No, it was it was one of those like fucking apps that you find out uh, there. All right, because I remember uh, yeah. for those but that I don't know, I just threw my face in, and that shit was classic. For those that don't know what we're talking about, uh, Crazy Race had a clowning myself right yeah, now, guys. And he had a it was Yoda, it's his baby picture with a face of hit of Crazy Race in it. Oh, and uh, MVP started calling him Crota. <laughs> yep, that's it. Crota, crazy race. Cro- hey, and speaking I'm of I'm a that, fucking Jedi. Fuck that. Spe- yeah, oh yeah. Speaking of fucking MV Pizzle. Oh. Your bearded ass was supposed to come through, yeah, bro. man. Miss you, brother. Hey, What's that's up? okay. He'll hear it on the podcast. <laughs> but here, let me, add, let me add this. We'll twist it up a little bit and go into the music side. But um, he, he was an important part of your um, – not – I, I won't say career. We're not going to give you that much credit, MVP. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> not you know, today. Not no, today. But you know what, though? But your your stage performance, oh, and then yeah. also That's even the right. videos, like he was an element that that yep. it, it went along with with what you were doing, and it still does. Like when you guys get together, it's like you can see that chemistry too. Uh, speak on that, man. How did? I mean, um, I don't know if you guys were the original story, if you guys were homies for whatever, but le- tell me how that relationship started, man. Yeah, bro. That's the brother right there. Hell yes. That's that's family right there. G- Gabe, Gabriel. Oh, shout out to Joker too, bro. Yep, MVP, and that's what that's what we're gonna start how, how we're gonna start it off is that's uh you know what I'm saying, that's Joker's that's Joker's brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, me, that's me and my compadre. We're talking about I baptized his son, you know what I'm saying? We've we've been friends since fuck since you know what i mean grade school or junior high whatever you call it you know and uh that was the brother but you know what i mean mvp growing up when he was doing his thing by the time we were in high school and i'm really doing music shit gabe was on the other side fucking you know you all punk rocked out and shit he was a little punker kid you know and then he went away did his service time and by the time he came back is when you know crazy race was kind of i was already starting to do shit and then he came around through joker of course because his brother and that was it man he became my little brother that's and then up. and then with the music shit, he just saw me rock so many times and was at so many shows that I would see him fucking fired up in the front row saying the lyrics like me. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, like he's not he's never rehearsed with me. He, studied. he just knows my fucking music. And I'm like, and that was, and that was it. We're like and when we first kicked it off, it was a few homies like even Big Snowman, D, uh, you know, my brother, Big Mike, you know, oh, what Snowman. 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 even Snowman, Snowman has been fucking. My, you know, you see my hype man on shows before, bro. Joker, you know what I mean? They've all, they've all like been up there, but MVP was the one and took it around with it. And uh, he's definitely been a huge, you know what I'm saying, uh, complimentary or however you could say it. Like, you know what I mean? He's an integral part of, of, of a Crazy Race performance now, too, because when, you know what I'm saying, I need that extra breath, he's right there with that bar, you know? Sometimes I even tell him, hey, bro, just let me rap. Let me fucking rap. Do the hooks coming, you know what I'm saying? You got me. I got you, right? And then sometimes I'm like, Dick, you fucking rapped way too much tonight. Was it your show or my show, fucker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but he's always held me down, brother. You know what I'm saying? So, and he's been around for uh fuck. 
Many years, bro. Well, Many we'll, years. At least a decade. Well, he'll have his chance when we're after all this bullshit goes away. Hopefully, one day, uh, me and MVP still got a tour planned. Karaoke tour. Yeah. Oh, Hip hop. That's, karaoke. That's official. That's official too. And it's gonna be uh, it the tour manager. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, request us in your yeah, town right. soon. Trust us. And then first rounds on Survive. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be there, but he's going to give yeah, us his credit card. Yeah. And, or he <laughs> might be back there taking a shit. <laughs> yeah, we may need a DJ. <laughs> Jay Whitey, you're going to be the, uh, the concierge. Oh, shit. Yeah, Whatever I the fuck it. that Whatever means. Whatever you need, man. What does that mean? I don't even know. Sure. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> it's not of a hotel. <laughs> concierge. Hey, as long as I can go here. <laughs> That's some fancy shit you're talking about. Hey, right hey but what I, I wanted to know about, um, I know you and MVP were on it. Yeah. How did you guys start the, because uh, we were talking about, you know, our internet show here. Uh-huh. How did you guys start the Relevance radio show where you're using stick cam and all that? That was way back when nobody was doing that at that time. How did you guys decide to do for that? Where you it was uh, it was a I, trip. I think we used it for a couple. Yeah, yeah that months. was old school. Yeah, right? we. Like, I, it started off with us because I remember seeing, and I got asked because even on Hoodstocks, Homeboy was like, yo, about that. I'm like, bro, you know who did it before me was, was Be Real. That's right. Yeah, be, be Real, real did it, yeah. and then I would tune in. I would, I'm like, oh, this shit is dope. And you'd be able to put your webcam in like six, 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 seven different camera spaces, and then you'd have the show. Yeah. So motherfuckers could be still in the webcam and part of the show. Yeah. Like, this is kind of cool, yeah. you know? And uh, so obviously he did it. Final Level Radio was already happening. You know, I thought you guys are probably doing your fucking thing. Uh, Proof of Life Radio out of San Diego was already happening. So I saw my, you know what I mean, my people, Husky Radio. OG, like, Husky Radio. OG, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Husky Radio. Like, they were all doing it. I was like, yo, it just... Makes fucking sense, but at least with with the ori- uh, the initial set for me was, I just wanted it to be raw and cut. No bells, no frills, no whistles, no DJ hey, at first. Like let's just do this. And it doesn't this. matter if things are happening during the show, whatever. Just like let it, it go. It was just Listen raw and in, cut. See what's and going on. And you know what? And we um, continued that when you moved over. We sure did. When you transitioned, that was to part do of the, the B side studio. Hell yeah, brother. Um, that was the shit that we used to always say too. Is that oh, we even did it bigger here? Raw and uncut though. It, is that was the shit? Dog. Like a like, poker night type thing. Yeah, like raw, uncut. We said that many times. With Survivski doing yep. his fucking thirty minute scratch. He killed it. Killed it. <laughs> no, hey, let's <laughs> let's be one hundred. Like relevance. That's what that's what MVP used to say. You relevance is dope, bro. Oh, like yeah. we had some we had some really fucking good times. Good interviews. Great fucking energy yeah, and good, yeah. and even good after parties, you yeah, know. Dude, and, and Ecl- I mean, I got hey, no offense to Eclipse, but Survive became one of my favorite DJs. Oh, he's <laughs> like, Eclipse is sitting right here, and I'm telling, hey, one of my favorite DJs. You cannot um, hate on Survive; he's yeah, a monster no, hey, dude, behind like, the tables. Bro. He became a good friend, and but sometimes, and it doesn't matter how fucking drunk he is, he's gonna, he still like come through and does some dope, and like he'll play some songs I haven't heard before, but yeah, I recognize not. the artist. I I knew who that is, but I never heard this song, and I'll be like, yeah. "Oh shit!" Like, dude, like he's yeah. really like open. Like, uh, he I pl- gotta give him a lot of credit. Hey, bro. he plays some shit, and he takes some shits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. That's, <laughs> that's my bro- is the bathroom. Oh, my roomie, what up, roomie? We just call him long hair, don't care. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, yeah. Hey, so from and then relevance, and yeah. then uh, we were talking about Gabriel. Big ups to MVP, man. Yeah, man. And yeah. Then, and yeah. then going into well, shout out to Joker's brother as well. The my whole compa. the whole label, man. Realism. Because they're, you know, obviously a major part of that, too. But um, with with the label, bro, um, when you first started that, I wanted to ask, because that, that's a big undertaking. Just like, you know, us taking the responsibility of saying we're going to do a show every yes. week. Uh, people don't understand sometimes. It, it's, a, it's a big responsibility. And we, we take it and we do it. And because we, most of all, because we love it. And, we, we and you're doing it, it weekly. Yeah, and we believe in this shit. But what was your original, um, I guess, goal with creating the label? Um, was it so you can put your stuff on your on your own? No, or, it came after that. Okay, it came after that because what I, when I first dropped, uh, the New World. Well, actually, I dropped the Time Has Come, in '99. That was on an independent venture I started called MCR Productions. Hey, wait though. That was the initials. Hold on though. Go ahead. Hold on. I was just going to say, though, if we're going there, like, like we'll go back into that. But let's uh, give them the discography, bro, because they need to know you've been doing this shit, bro. You got a, a man, a, a major catalog. And can you just run it down the line real quick and we'll get back right into that? man. Yeah. So 
discography for me was 99 was the time has come damn man. which was an ep okay and then i didn't put out my first album official shit until like five years later and that was new world games in 04 came back hit them in 06 with the movement strength and numbers which showed you know what i mean showed the picture of the may day rallies in front of city hall that was that album a real heavy political album 2009 came back hit him with chronicles of a crazy race that was 100 percent fucking produced by the ringleader dj ace 100 percent. that's the album that features chino excel jack cam eric bobo of cypress hill numerous others you know what i'm saying that, that was the one 2011 hit him with the rapture two years later and had Braca, bamboo and others uh 2012 i came back with the international project the one with all the producers from all over the world from different yeah 15 countries and 15 shit. countries yeah man and then i had a fucking five six year hiatus where it was realism releases three or four to be exact i want to say and then i came back in 2019 six and a half years later and put out mark my words to a culminate now you got the greatest and hits. now the greatest hits is out uh, and then the new album's coming so i'm like on eight or nine probably somewhere hey there. what wasn't there a uh did did you already mention but wasn't there like a female based project in there yeah. somewhere well that, i didn't I, I didn't talk about realism i was just crazy race right now oh i yeah. got you i got yeah, you realism, okay, okay. For, for realism the label we put out i would say at least a solid 15 titles Okay, and Queen, that Queens of the Mic is what you're talking okay, about. Okay, yeah. So let's go back then. What we originally started with is um, the, the inspiration of, of creating of doing the, the label. label. Yes, it was because MCR Productions, you know, what I mean, was uh, I knew that's was gonna start this shit. You know, what I mean, so I knew I, I wanted to put out at least my EP, which was the demo at the point at the time. You know, only four songs. I was a '99, and then I put out the first album, the second album. So those three releases were all MCR Productions. It was all me. You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking of others. So when 2007 came around, that's when I was like, you know what? I'm going to start looking for other artists, you know what I mean, that, that, that I'm fucking with. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try the label side of it independently with very little capital, very little money. Just to do it, you know what I'm saying, based out of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it, I believe you. Let's, let's go rock. Whatever I could do for you, I could do for you. I mean, it may not be monetary all the time, but I may be able to get you on a couple of radio shows that maybe you didn't. You know what I'm saying? I may be able to shoot a video or do something like that. So it always hasn't really been like a big monetary aspect to be part of realism. It was just more like about, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with you. You fucking with me. Let's ride. And that and that's how most relationships and, well, should kind of start is like, yeah. Hey, bro, because if we're not going to believe in each other, then why work together to start? Very true. And it, and that and that's the thing that... But it's not easy being an artist, running your own label for other well, artists. Well, that's what I was going to say. That's, that's where the backseat comes so, in. So to take that initiative like you... And, and that, again, you, you mentioned it wasn't monetary, bro, because that shit didn't come right away especially. Yeah. But that's the thing is you were, were passionate about this culture enough to where you knew that... Maybe you can give this dope artist that you know is dope maybe a couple extra heads to like, because you know how they say like you get this one head and then maybe yeah. a few more heads. Well, like I, I still got a you know what I mean it, like I'm not huge by any means, but I still have a solidified family. Oh I still yeah, got people that rock with me. Oh, you know overseas so, and everything, bro. Yeah, so you know what I mean it wasn't even the stamp or the or the cosign or whatever. Like some people will call it that. It was just more like I'm the, in the belief that I this motherfucker got talent. Like, you know what I mean? I'm fucking with you. Nigga. And and then was there a part of you, too, that, like, being the, uh, a label, you get to, like, this is a culture you dig. Uh, we mentioned entertainment, yeah. the whole perspective of it, and you now you get to kind of oversee this shit. Like, yeah. you know the direction motherfuckers should take sometimes, and you got to take on that role, too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you get to, you, get to, you know what I mean? It's, it's uh, you know, recording albums, like I said, doing videos for albums, you know what I'm saying? Like, it. It's more of, uh, I think, in, my, in at least in my case, it was more of just being like, yeah, you, you know, that's uh, that's crazy race. He's the CEO because I'm not really the, the CEO of fucking anything. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're yeah. not talking about a multi fucking you know, national corporation. Talk yeah. about an independent fucking label, but indie shit. Yeah, indie shit. So, so for me, it was it wasn't just the the, the fact that I dug people as artists. It was like I knew I could help engineer these releases yeah, yeah. or like, you know what I'm saying? Add my talent there. And every now and then I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to jump on this record. And you know what I'm saying? And they're like, let's do it. 
and we'd fucking knock out a record, maybe two records. So it was always, I mean, it was like, I, I felt like every release like that, that I'm that I'm fucking with, unless it was 100% done on their end, because I've had those too, to where maybe an album was already mixed, it's ready to go, and I'm like, let me hear it, boom, fuck it, let's, let's go. That's you know, realism. You know what, and then whether... Both uh, sides of the both sides of the, of the coin have happened. No, knowing you as a as a person as well, bro. I, I, we've we've been homies and fam for a cool minute, but um, I think people can get that vibe if you know um, that you you have their best interests in mind. Like it's not you're not doing it from a standpoint for yourself. It's like you you can add, like you said, you can add something to it. Yeah. And and as a it may not always be much, but you know I'm gonna do no, what I can. But especially as a younger artist, yeah. Like if I was like I would embrace that because you're offering the knowledge that they that you took years to acquire and you're giving it to them and they can trust that um, no. that you're gonna try to steer them in the right direction. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, bro. like, like uh, what you said. Hey, you're not a multi million dollar corporation, but no, man. but for sure the influence and the like what you've done for the, their careers has been it's it's been a lot it's, it's been you know worth it for real like for them i already know it. i'm spe i can't speak for them but i, I yeah. know for sure that it is for them you know yeah that so, yeah, and that's right. dope though there's been a lot of uh you know we did a couple events even here bro like you know the realism like showing the some of the camp and everything and uh um let's go back into uh well you know what before we get into this part i was i was gonna go into something else but um can we name who who's on the roster right now and um how can they get at you guys and all that we'll talk about yeah it that's, right now. that's 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 a very good question like it's crazy because i've been so caught up brother this is this is me being 100 because i've said it on other interviews that where i've been even pre-quarantine and all the shit that went down like i just been about trying to provide for the family and Hell for yeah. my son is the best possible and obviously music is just not one of them yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying like the music industry is a hard fucking game like oh hell and, yeah. then, and then we're independent and then we're hip-hop so you're already you're, you're narrowing it narrowing it narrowing it. so i've always had other hustles so when it came to realism in the last in the last two three years probably yeah around there like it, it took a back seat so fr from the fr from the the camp standpoint i think besides mark my words I think the last album we had put out was Academics, you know what I mean? Five Sons Set in Stone, which was like 2017, I believe. You know what I mean? So it really hasn't been too and active on the... On the boom bap yeah, shit. Yeah, he killed that shit. Yeah, That's yeah. a dope record. Shout out to Disease 84 for producing that whole record. Yeah. Recorded like 90, 85, 90% of it was probably done on my lab. You know what I mean? So we did it at the Realism Dojo. Big ups to Demix and uh, Disease on that one. But what up, So homies? really, on the like I'm saying, the Realism side, I know... Uh, phase has been steady active we do, oh we put out the brainwash campaign sorry that, about that yeah yeah that just uh yeah I, that, that just yeah Air we did put out phase that was the last release that was the brainwash campaign you know what i'm saying so big ups to phase you know what i'm saying on the camp phase rock you got message i know he's doing some shit and he's been message. steadily doing shit with uh with dmar mm -hmm. so they got something coming i know that's coming mm -hmm. as well as he has something coming west coast creations Oh, that's right. You know, him and Dub CK are doing some shit. And then Fade um, Rock, I just dropped that album. Like, remember we interviewed him on the Oh, Zoom? he did the Snare Max 90. Uh, Dog, he's he's probably the most active of the camp beside Disease. Yeah. Like, him and Disease stay working, bro. Yeah, that's it's right. the two producers, but, you know what I mean, Fade just happens to rap, Pop too. Album. Yeah. You know what I mean? He just happens to rap, too. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you got the heads from Illicit Dialect. Uh, you know what I mean? I know Equip is kind of doing he's, he's also, You know what I mean? He's doing some other music right now. Uh, but Demix, you know what I mean? You still got Demix. You got Disease 84. So you got Illicit Dialect, Illegal out in, in, in Mexico. Um, you know what I mean? They haven't really been doing too much. I know Demix is still doing his thing. And uh, who else? You know what I mean? got my son, obviously. You know what I mean? Oh, but, there we go. Next yeah. generation. <laughs> but it's funny because I, I said this recently, bro. I'm like, my son is, is, is not really a hip-hop head. Like, I, he is a hip-hop head. No, don't get it misconstrued because he likes hip-hop. But when it comes to the artistry side of it, that's just dad putting him in the studio. You know what I mean? Like, yo, Pop, I got this hook right here. Go get on it. He's, like, looking at me. I'm like, come on. Hey, happy birthday to Don, yeah. by the oh, way. Oh, we're going to yeah, major shout. If he's listening, yeah, happy birthday. Happy but, uh, birthday, big dog. And yeah, yeah. say that you know, you passed Pops up a long time ago. So they say, like, <laughs> my, the compa, my compa said, like, in seventh grade, he passed me up. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Fucking joke. Yeah. But hey. happy birthday to my son, Dominic, man. I turned 17 today. So, yeah. so August twelfth, you know what I'm saying, two thousand three. That's right. And and so, 
again, I'm going to, we're, we're still going to go into it, but that, that part, bro, um, I just wanted to commend you on too, bro, because as, a, as hip hop artists, a lot of the times, you know, um, it gets put out, you know, maybe songs or whatever it gets, there's a perception that, that, um, dudes can't be good dads, bro, and do what they do. Yeah. But, um, like, you know what, let's throw all that out the window, bro, because you're one of the dudes that, that you, you've done it right, Race, and, and I commend you on that, man. I got a little one, and I, I got my stepsons, and and uh, and I see different people Eclipse doing it. We got to blend all these things that we do, yeah. Um, but stay true to, to the fam and, 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 and uh, ra raise good human beings, I yeah, guess you man. could say. And, and bro, and it's pretty dope because a lot of the, the cats that I really know on a good level, and it's some of my like day one homies, I call it, you know, from way back, um, a lot of hip hop homies that I'm really close with. Uh, I'm proud to say, like, w w we're parents, bro. Like, we good do our, dad gang, we, homie. Like, yeah, we do our shit. But look at it. Uh, good, think about it this way: good dads, good parents, were solid individuals. Yeah, like values, morals, respect integrity like yeah. you can go on and on like you gotta you know what i'm saying like th that's your that's our youth man that's 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 our, that's our that's our seeds that's our future like i've i've said this before on, on b-side remember i mean we're talking about when mark my words drop i'm like man sometimes i don't think i'm a good influence like upon my son or i'm a positive role model because of who crazy race is and some of the music that i've dropped throughout the years you know what i'm saying but at the same time when it when it comes to me and him and being a father to a son and a friend like we're past that shit. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that 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 is my son. Hey, I see you know that I mean? from uh, you know, I don't like good, have, the good, the bad, and the in between. You've seen it all. Just like uh, you know, some of my closest friends, like you could tell that they have that same relationship with their kids because yeah. you're like some of these guys I know, like they're the biggest drinker there is. They're like, like, but for some reason it doesn't necessarily mean they're not a good them. dad. Yeah, like, yeah. Like they they weren't trying to be like like they're all doing have careers and all that. Like yeah, of course, like, yeah, yeah. Like they're like oh, okay, like you know, like because sometimes people hey, but as oh, parents do that in front of your kids. Or yeah, whatever, but as parents, know? we need our getaway too, man. Yeah, you know. And I told my I've told my son this numerous again. There, I go, there ain't no manual to this kid. Like yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm learning. I was going along. My bad for that. And like, honestly, there's only so much we we can hide from them. Like yeah. I mean, they're going to know the real us. And then, and then that's the thing, man. It's about the, uh, you know, for me, grow, the, like the way we, we grew up, we, we talked a little bit about it on the first episode. But me and Shay, we've been through a lot of shit. And our youngest brother, like growing up, shit was crazy, bro. And, and uh, you know, different houses all the time moving around and, and all that shit. But one thing that was always constant, at least we're we're blessed in that. And, I, and I've always been thankful for that. But our family like has a lot of love bro so yeah. like um that's the you said it bro that's that's that goes a long way yeah man that goes yeah. a long yeah. way like we could sit here and talk about i said integrity and respect yeah. and all that but there has to be some love in the household first man yeah, that's man. right like we could argue we could disagree we oh, could hell, fucking and that happens and, and, all right the time. we could be bitter amongst yeah. one another but at the end of the day like there still has to be love in order for that motherfucking you know what i mean household to, to to stay and stay function, stay alive, man. Let's yeah. get, let's get, Especially let's, now, man. It's all we got is each other, you know. And you're absolutely right. And this, that's that's the beauty of, of a song that I did for Mark My Words, but I held it back for the new album. Okay. And we're it's exactly what we're talking about. It's a song called Truth Be Told. Is this, but is this for the greatest hits? No. Greatest hits is already out. Okay. Yeah, the CD's out. You got it. It's greatest hits is already out. This is for the upcoming album that I've been working okay. on. I held a few joints back from Mark My Words that I could have put out. And held and them back. And I don't ever do that. Ever. Ever. It's the first time. And then and, and I, I know there was a purpose behind that. Speak on it, brother. So Truth Be Told was just one of those records where I was like, how we're talking about our family and our youth and our kids and the seeds. And I was just like, you know what? Sometimes me being a parent and me thinking I'm cool and all this shit because I'm a hip hop dad, whatever. You know what I mean? All that bullshit. Like, sometimes we just need to take the time to listen. Like, we got kids going through a generation now where maybe I don't understand what the fuck they're going through. Like, my son's going to, you know what I mean? He's going to virtual school right now. Like, what's that like? So, it was just one of those things where, and I aren't, this is, like I said, I wrote this back in, like, late 2018, early 2019 that I wrote for him. 
and it was actually when the Dodgers went to the series against the Astros when we should have won when they cheated. Oh, yeah, fuckers. Motherfuckers, right? Yeah. Boo! But I had already wrote an outro like we won that shit. And it's me and him talking. It was dope, Rabbit. It was dope. Obviously, we didn't win it. You know that, right? So I had to take get rid of that part. But to go back to the truth be told was it was just one of those songs. It's dedicated for him, but it's dedicated to family, to love. But it's just saying, you know what, motherfucker? This is your kid. It's my son. And I'm yeah. talking to him right now, but I'm also talking to you as a parent. Just listen. Yeah, yeah. And and you know what? It's crazy. And that's how the next album is coming. It's crazy. We spell that K-R-A-Z-Y. Mm -hmm. But it's crazy you said that because um, Eclipse and I were just having this conversation. Is like, I, and I was saying from my perspective, because I got kids in the pad, bro, yeah. and motherfuckers get on my nerves of course. sometimes, dog. And all of them, bro. It ain't hunky-dory on my, oh, my pad. Yeah. and Guar Fucking guarantee you that. And, and here's what I was just... And the only reason I, I got a teenage son, I want to beat his ass. Oh, that, like. yeah. See, I got a teenage stepson. I make fucking steps it up a notch. Puberty and all yeah, that. Dude. All that. But, uh, but it's his birthday. So happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Dom. <laughs> happy birthday, Dom. <laughs> hey, but, uh, but what we were talking about, and I wasn't even talking to Eclipse like he didn't know this already, yeah. but it was almost like I had to like reassure myself. It's like I'm a, I'm bored. Like, all of us, dog, as grown men women everything are you know we're borderline through with all this bullshit going on right now and you know not only our country everywhere all this shit right yeah masks fucking stay away we can't do sh like it's crazy so imagine how the fucking kids feel yeah so then i like i catch myself bro i get impatient and then i catch myself going fuck dude i'm over this shit so imagine how these kids feel being cooped up in the crib and Hardly even being able to do what they usually do. Yeah. I know they like to play video games on the pad and all that, but they ain't really chilling with all their homies. They ain't going to school. They ain't socializing. And it's like, okay, so that's how a big thing. I, how do they feel? Right. Right. Remember, as a, we're going as, nuts. as a teenager, did you want to really be around your parents? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, you know what I mean? None of us did. I was on a mission. So that's, that, that's exactly what I'm saying. And, and uh, you got younger ones, but like, I I understand that side. That's why I'm like today. I'm like just behind your shit. Like you got this first day. You know they talked about the syllabus, whatever they talked about going to school and shit. But I'm just like, yeah, man. Yeah. I got. I'm like you know every now and then I just know as as a parent I got to talk to them. Like are you good? You know yeah. what I mean? Like and yeah. little kids that are just you know like they want to like tell you something about like uh, something that's going on that like you have you're like you're completely like uh, you have, you know you have other stuff you have to concentrate on. Yeah, it's nothing completely what you want. And they're used to telling their other friends about it or whatever. Hey, there's a new Pokemon or whatever the hell yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. It could be yeah, the simplest like, of things. So, so it's like, oh man, you know, they don't have no one else to tell it to. So you have to like, okay, oh, kind of, oh, cool. And you know, and if not, and it's hard. I know. I Shay, get it. Shay, like, Shay, I understand, Uncle, like, I Uncle Whitey over <laughs> there. So he's, he's, he knows what hey, it is. Hey, hey some real shit's coming out of Shay right now. Look at, yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah, like, hey, he's like, you know what? He's like, I've been a shrink at my house right now. Hey, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna be impatient and say I don't care about that. I'm gonna say, okay, cool. Like, all right, let me know. And I. Cool. And, and, and no one and else to talk. Who are they supposed to tell about? And it? don't <laughs> be a, don't be afraid to get on their level. Yeah, you know, you know what, what I'm mean? saying. Like go ahead, go ahead and look. You know what I mean? Especially if they're little, like look them eye to eye. Like you, what? You uh, mean? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd be. Hey, tr kids are dope, bro. Oh yeah, hey, bro. Hey, yeah, they're like they're like sponges, man. They learn, they learn, dog, and, and that's and, the and thing. And my niece Brandy was just looking for one of her fish in the fish tank today, and like you know, I couldn't break it to her. Like you know what? I think that one might not have made it, but right. She's like, where's my? <laughs> She's like looking around, like. Oh no! I think, some of them I think the ones I told her were hers are still there, but oh, yeah, we but got a new, hey. I got a new fish tank, <laughs> and that <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> is still like circulating through. And I made the mistake; I got too many fish at once because I was getting all the kids, let, like letting them pick fish, and and. But uh, you guys got like a you got a fucking barn at your spot, like you got all oh, kind of animals. I'm and trying shit. to have a farm, jungle, brother, yeah. a farm, a jungle. What do you got over I there? I want to have a farm. I want to grow my own vegetables and shit. You and should. Plants and Yeah, I was talking about that with a homie the other hey, day. Hey, and, and trees. And then I want to have a shitload of animals. My Where I live now, it's probably probably won't work. But yeah. <laughs> eventually, yeah, I don't give a so shit. So you want Rabbit's Ark. I, I love animals, bro. Yeah, not and Noah's Ark. You want Rabbit's Ark. Yeah, right now, oh, yeah, th this is where we're at. We got a dog, a cat, a hamster, a tortoise, a fish tank. 
uh, ha- did I say hamster? Yeah. And, uh, oh, and some birds were actually born in the back patio. Oh. But I don't know if they left yet. <laughs> so they got a Somebody nest left, back there. Yeah, they made their own nest. They just decided. Dude, they hey, literally cool made a it. nest, and the motherfucking little babies got like they got used to us coming out. And they would come out on the perch before they learned how to fly. And just look and at they you. would look at us, dog. Like, you gonna feed us or <laughs> <laughs> what are we waiting for? Like, yeah, well, at my pad, all I got is a a, a perro, a dog. Um, I got the raider. Got the raider in my pad. And hey, you know what the crazy? Well, what about dogs the crazy pet? I've oh, seen dogs are illest. Oh, shout out to the homie Straight DJ up. Lou Man and Doll. They have a pet pig. Have you seen that? Oh shit! I seen it on the Instagram. They have I a follow pet pig. the. That I'm is, gonna tell oh, you, man, what's the is, what's the puerco? What's the piggy's name? It's like it uh, baby baby. I think they call it or something like that. Because right. Eclipse, look it up. I go on Lou Man. Look for the pig. I follow the pig, bro. Because all right, because look, I told my this is real talk. I told my lady. Shout out to Don Lou, man. Love you guys. I told yeah, what up, homies, hip hop fam. I told uh, my lady, I said, uh, well, I'm probably gonna get my daughter a like a little one of them little dwarf bunnies okay. eventually. Yeah. And then uh but I told her, Fuck I said, I want one of them little pigs, dog. <laughs> and and I'm That's I, it, uh, and I think I'm being a little like too much but I think I Shay said, Whitey wants a hairless cat. No, I don't know. Hey, I love cats, but the hairless ones look. Kinda the cat creepy. at her pet is is Whitey's cat. <laughs> yeah, that's cat. my cat. Yeah. yeah. What's the What's the cat's name, Whitey? Pepper. That's Pepper Potts, actually. Pepper, Pepper Potts. Potts. I call yeah, her Pepper Pothead. Yeah. yeah, she's she's getting lit. She's, yeah, in the, she's, she's, lit. she's in the garage. She's getting lit. <laughs> she lives in the garage, bro. Yeah. Oh, you've been to the pad. Bro. There it is. Yeah, she's she's been to the pad. So, so what is it? Oh, they changed it. I think then. <laughs> Grand Pooba. It that's was the, something that's else. That's the piggy's name, Grandpa. Oh, so they changed the piggy's handle, too. There it is. But I'm going to sh- change mine tomorrow now. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fucking, We're on a roll. Hey, so let's. 20 years of crazy race. Change the name. Let's get into it, dog. What's uh, the, the greatest hits? I saw, like, you put it out there. I think I chimed in on my. I think I had four or five at the time. I mean, I didn't, like, just name off your whole catalog, yeah, catalog and yeah, shit. Yeah. But it, it was just ones that popped out in my mind and. So Sam, like a couple of them were, uh, oh, uh, I've been known. Do uh, you? Do you? Uh, do it. you is the one where you got. That's the one I was gonna say. We're that's Jackin, right? Do you? And then the the one where you, uh, fuck, what was the video you guys did live from different spots? Uh, live on stage, maybe. Live on stage, um, and then there was the one, and then the one on the, on the latest, well, the previous latest release with the uh, you message. Equip. Equip. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I like. I th- I think I threw those four or five out or something. You have the CD right there. Let's see what's on there. There it is. Yes. Let's check it out. And because you know what, the track listing hasn't been put out there, so I'm I'm gonna let you do uh, it. Okay. That's hey. that's the official CD. I haven't put out no pictures of the track listing. It's already crazy it's already race been out. greatest hits right here, man. I got that's it the in CD front version. of me. And the good thing for us. Is a lot of fucking songs I actually know how to read, so check it out. City of Angels, True Story, Hole in His Soul, Street Life featuring Cam. What up, Cam? Uh, Do You featuring Sick Jackin and Gutter Fame, Street hard, Renegade, huh? Fire featuring Jism High Def, and Two Mex. What up, homies? Murder Fest, Capital I Man of the Mexican. I'm a Murder Fest, too. Capital I hard. Man, I yeah. Man. Intellect, hard. man. Uh, the Movement, The Last Hour featuring Global City, Dedicated, I Do. Chemtrails, I've been known. There it Classic. is. Live and learn, featuring Raka of Dilated. What's up, Raka? Bang. Uh, Together we shine. The culture featuring DJ Dramatic, and then bonus tracks. Even you motherfuckers, you better get this greatest hits if you don't already. Operation. You know how many songs you've already said, right? Yes, seventeen, and then we're on bonus tracks. Operation Lockdown. Tell it like it is, featuring the hey the, the young homie, your son, and uh, keep pushing, equip a message, man. There it is, right there. So that's yeah, the. So I was pretty on point. There's 20 records on the CD. Okay. Right for the greatest hits, cause yes. I, and that that shit was hard to narrow down that track list. It, and I'm sure it was, but what, Fuck, what, you're what, talking what, about 15 years of music, six albums, but worth of songs. What had to feel good though, brother, is. You got a lot of people chiming in on what they felt should be yeah, on did, there. Yeah. Did you, did you Whether they out? made it or not. Oh, yeah. Did you ask like people which were their oh, yeah. favorite Yeah, that's yeah. what I was saying. That's, what, that's what started this off. Oh, okay. That's, that's what, what I was saying. He was hits. asking, yeah, and, yeah. but people were giving their input, Yeah. and that had to feel good, bro. Oh, it, it was the best. And I'll tell you what the crazy shit about it was. It's dope. It's humbling to know that when, when I put out the call, regardless of the how many people 
said songs, right? I, I was ill. But was finding out that here you think over your career that you probably have a top five. You have a top ten. Yeah. That these motherfuckers are going to say, right? Not that you're motherfuckers. I love you guys. But you I ended up getting... You. Yeah, I ended up getting like 54 songs chosen for the greatest hits. So to me, that spoke volume. I'm like, yo, like, really? You guys think 54 of these songs can make the greatest hits release? And even Gable, you, you know, Gable was my worst critic. He was like, bro, it's a, gr- it's a good song, but it's not the greatest hits. He'll say this. He'll tell you the same thing about the same track listing I ended up using. There's a few songs. He's like, no, nah, that's not the greatest hits. And I'm like, so it was difficult to do. It was fucking dope to get the people's feedback. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the heads that have represented with me over, you know what I'm saying, from two years back to 14, 15 years back, like, People represented and put their input in and let me know those song titles. There was probably a good 30 that probably had five to ten people each on it. And, you know. So that 30 got narrowed pretty much down to what? the 17. But I still put a couple of songs just be, that I wanted to put in just because. And some people, that's the thing, race is, uh, what do they say? Uh, it's quality over quantity and and. The reason I'm saying that is sometimes people could just put out like a whole bunch of different things just to throw something out there every week for people to yeah. you know continue to follow. Like, hey, check this out, check this out, check this out. But it's not really necessarily a catalog. And this ain't knocking anybody, any particular genre, nothing like yeah. that. It's just the, the fact that you can look back even now while you're still doing music and – you have a catalog, my brother, and some of these artists, they, yeah, they might have, like, a gang of followers, whatever the fuck it might be, but you st- they still don't have a catalog of music. And uh, aren't you, if you're being a musician, yeah. give, give the people that catalog, bro, at, at oh, some yeah. point, and you got that, bro. Like, You know what I mean? So commend you for that, man. Music, man, this shit's powerful shit. Yeah, it is, man. All right, man. I yeah. love it. I've been, a, you know, what I mean, I've been a fan. Of, I've been a fan of this shit since day one. Like hip hop was, you know, forty-seven years old. What yesterday? Uh, oh, that's right. Yesterday or day before? Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, there, there you, you go. go. So yeah, and this is what it is. Like I was born in June, same year. I, I am hip hop. You know, what I mean, I'm, oh, I'm, I, I'm, I tell I'm, people that too, bro. I'm the age of hip hop. That's what like, I tell people. Straight up, like you want to know how old I am? I, I'm hip hop, and you got to go look it up to know. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking old, but I'm fly old. And I'm brother. 21. No, I'm just and that's that's some whole other <laughs> shit, brother. Like I didn't think, I really didn't think, no, fuck, no way, didn't think that I'd be doing music, the way I'm doing music, and even hip hop music or doing rap CDs or. I, at this age, it, it wasn't fathomable. I couldn't think about this. <laughs> but now I'm here, and I'm just, as from the artistry standpoint, I'm like, you know what? I just feel like I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. Like, it. And I've heard a lot of people say that it feels more free. And here's the other thing I heard in another view at the, uh, interview with, like, Jay-Z is, like, he spoke on it, man. Yeah, rap started as a, a young man sport. Like, from the battle aspect to different things you got to get out and do and, you know, have that energy and jump around and shit, whatever you do. But uh, the thing is, all you do is really just adapt to your, um, like, you have that core audience, like you said, and you're you're just moving and adapting to life, and they want to hear that too. I don't think motherfuckers still want to hear, like, you know, somebody doing something that they did 20 years ago when they're not that age anymore. So there's, yeah. a, there's basically what I'm getting at is, is hip hop started getting condemned like rock and roll did, but rock and roll's still here, hip hop's still here, and we can adapt and we have that fan base that goes with us, man. They they don't necessarily want to hear it. It's a trip to say this, but I feel like right now on the stage and where I'm at with this music shit, that as much as I know I'm doing hip hop and I'm doing rap music, I just feel like I'm doing grown man music. Yeah. But that's it. There's you know what I mean? There's like, fans that want to hear grown man shit. Yeah, so I'm just like they don't want to hear that. There was a lot of times when even you know what I mean when you first start writing and you're doing shit that you go and you're like ah oh, I'm gonna fucking go rewrite that I'm gonna do this yeah. like now I'm just like I, I write some shit I'm just like I'm gonna drop that yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not even that critical of myself anymore to be honest like it's, and there's a lot of MCs that are they're like everybody's continuously trying to step the bar up and I'm like at that point where I'm like I'm just trying to put it out 
Nah. And I mean, I, I know, I, I know, I'm good enough to where it's gonna, it's gonna be dope. Well, that's the thing. It's that freedom you feel. Yeah. It's crazy as we get older and more mature. Like you know, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. It may not, be, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I guarantee you, if you listen, if you listen to the full project, you'll say, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? We ran Uh-oh. down the playlist for you, man. Yeah, track listing got it. This is the first time. This is the first time it's been out too. I have not put that shit out. On any fucking social media platform. So what I said was exclusive, right? Pretty much. Ah, that's how I like to do it anyway. So fuck it. Hey, but you twenty know, records on that motherfucker too. I twenty? Just, no, but plus. No, no. There no might plus. be a hidden. There's a hidden. There might be a hidden one. There could be. Okay. Could there, be. There could. Uh, I'm not gonna confirm this, but there might be even an extra one. So, hey, 21. bro, check for the vinyl you too. Fact, yeah, you uh, made it a point. Um, and, and, and I've talked to, I think it was Mike Bless. Fuck. I think it was Mike Bless not too long ago. And we just talked about, um, like the need. I mean, not, not the need, but like why the relevance. See that I did that again. Yeah. This the is, vinyl. This is why I get paid nothing for what I do, bro. Right. I'm good at it. Hey, but, um, like not, the, you put the round of applause. Right yeah. There. Right. The rele the relevance though of. Especially as a, he- a hip hop head, bro, to put out some vinyl on some shit, yeah, um, it means something, bro. And of and, it, and and to the hip hop heads, it means something to them because they want it on vinyl. So you know, I wish you know, what I mean, it's my mistake. I wish we would have been able to do more vinyl for the whole catalog, like, but it's expensive, homie. Like, you know, and that that's the reality. Like, it it goes up, it goes down, but. Being that vinyl's like been back around lately, and people are collecting again, like that shit is not cheap to press vinyl. Yeah. So, you know? so is that that? That's, that's that, been a deterrent throughout my whole career. If not, because I've always put it on CDs, always put them on CDs. But that's the you know thing of being independent. Yeah, of course. These and are the it's, decisions. It, but, but independent with more than one title. Yeah. And these are decisions you, know, you have you got, to make, bro. You got digital fees. You got manufacturing fees. You know what I mean? All that shit. So, and, and it all that, comes down to it. See, and and if you guys uh, pay attention enough and you guys are, you know, getting into music, younger artists, marketing, there's maybe all, all, somebody all story. that wants to, you know, make a label and all that. These are all things. Listen to these gems, man. This dude's kicking his. Uh, there's a lot involved, bro. And, and it's a business, bro. But but the thing Small you business. you have managed to do. And here's the most important thing. The music gets to the people somehow. Oh, so yeah. whether it's via vinyl, whatever it is, like overseas, you got fans, you got play, you've traveled overseas, and that's from putting in that work and being uh, respected as a as an artist, as an underground MC from L.A. Dog, like, um, you know, what I'm saying, uh, south southeast, right, to be that's exact, Whittier, California, there, baby. There we go. Let me get that corrected. Nah, later. bro. Hey. But I appreciate that because it's you're absolutely right, brother. We've we've been able to do things that I never thought I would be able to do, mm-hmm. you know, I, and somebody brought it to my attention. Like, yeah, with your you know, what I mean, with your kid getting able to travel and go to Japan and Spain and Spain and go yeah. to the countries and be able to rock. And yeah, I, I was that's what it actually uh, reminds me of my question. I wanted to ask beautiful. you, bro, is um, wait, it, you just remembered. No, I mean, I, I mean, I did remember it, uh. but um, but it, it kind of leads into <laughs> it <laughs> and marijuana affects. Them. Yeah. Nah. No, but um, the thing is, uh, I, want, I wanted to ask you. Uh, marijuana like, affects like, the memory. I know there's probably a lot, but just what, off the top of your head right now, one of your favorite shows you rock, like what city, what like, what was it? Favorite shows rock. L- like I know there's probably a lot, but just see, like what what pops up right away. Like, I would say Spain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As much as I love LA and I've done so many shows out here, like just. Spain just had an energy about it that was just, you know what I mean? When you, you get to be in front of that many people and rock the fuck out and then rock a 45-minute set oh, and, it's your ver- and it's your very first album. So you don't really have the other catalog to choose from. It's just like, you know what I mean? The fucking, you know what I mean? The Target, you know what I mean? Fucking gun to Target. Like, let's go. We got to go. This is it. This There ain't no mistakes here. Like, we fuck up on a song. We fuck up. We're we're rocking another country. Let's go. But the energy for that one, crazy. Hey, L.A. Yeah. shows, though. L.A. shows, there was probably one. Uh, I love I love the shows we used to do with the Coconut Teaser. 
which was like some Where's grimy. That, Hollywood? that was Hollywood. I remember that. Spot. Yeah, Coconut Teaser spot. You know what I mean? Did shit there with uh, Los Tumbados, Street Platoon, Global City. Like, there's a lot of, lot of dope. Raka was there at GABA. Like, those two spots between GABA and Coconut Teaser was probably the best L.A. underground hip-hop shows that I got to do. That's where I really, like, you know what I mean? That's where you, you cement your shit. Like, some some heads will say Project Blow it or Foundation, like uh, Al Scatter said, right? For me, it was it was GABA. It was Coconut Teaser. And, and you know, speaking on that, when you threw the uh the relevance show the first official one when they used to have that spot in pasadena what was it called dog? the terrace terrace there you I go remember. yeah the terrace but we did like how many did i do four or five I something think? like that but i think they were cracking bro we i think it was the was first good one i originally got on and we went in as co-hosts together right and that story and that's where it started you, hey because i've been hearing you say it but you, hey bro we'll talk about it but well who said it but 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 say Come on. The, the, the thing is, is that um, that's where I kind of I wanted to mention to you is yeah. like I appreciate the fact that I kind of solidify myself there as an actual host of live events. Like I've done a bunch of them, bro. Don't yeah. get me wrong. And I've done some good ones even before that. Of course. Like I like I think like Sugar Free, like some pretty good shows I hosted. Right. But oh, we never really had really big headliners. It's just more but, underground shit. Yeah. But when we did that. I felt like that. Then I solidified myself as a host because then we started off the chant of the "fuck you rabbit" and the different shit of just kind of fucking with the crowd on a level where the host is actually part of the show too because we co-hosted it. Yeah. So it was like, okay, yeah, the artists are here, but the hosts are going to be. How part many did of the you co-host, Rabbit? I, I think I, I, I want to say there was four I think that we I, did. I think I did all of them, but maybe one. And okay, I think, that's what I'm, and like, I think I'm trying to think. I'm like, I think you did all of I them. I think because I was somewhere else. Or I might have done all of them. I don't know. Somebody hit us up. Some of the people will know. Like, probably, like, Psycho Queen will probably know. Dope like, shows, dope yeah. lineup. That was dope. How about, remember when we had Enemy Rifa and they fucking tore that spot up? Oh, and, yeah. Oh. No, that was, hey, was that? Oh, yeah, that's what some dude, uh, some dude... <laughs> Hey, this shit! Uh, I just you, you reminded me of right. something, bro. And we could talk about it because that was place, a fight is, right that in that place is closed, right? But this fool, they they the pit always gets going when enemies start. Enemy, he fought up homies. Those are the I homies. think I did five, and maybe I was going on six. I'm trying to remember now, for and, real. And and fucking, they always get the pit started. And there was a dude going around, and I and I witnessed it too, because. Yeah, I'll go in a little bit, memory. but I'm a skinny motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I ain't trying to get tossed all over the place, bro. Yeah. I just, <laughs> you like, ain't trying to get tossed like a salad in a cycle what? round pit. Especially with a beer in your hand. Yeah, yeah I spill and, this and I always have a beer. <laughs> and the thing is, is that fools see me, and they see a skinny dude, and they, like, look fresh meat. Like, I'm going to push this motherfucker. Hey, Papa, around. I can say the same <laughs> thing. Look at me. They do I'm like a buck sixty wet. Hey, bro. Right? But they do this shit. It's already happened a few times. Like, oh, he's near the pit. I'm going to push the skinniest motherfucker I could. But dude, don't push me in the back next time, motherfucker. Hey, I'm saying it. Right. You see him in a pit. Next time, push me in the front so I could fuck you right, up. Right, let's back. square up. Let's bang. Yeah, yeah. So this food. But anyways, that happened. So I seen because I was watching from the outside and and uh, and uh because we were hosting too. So I started seeing him like, this shit's right. This is a dope show. And there was a dude side busting cats like with elbows and shit. Of course, like he wasn't doing like, yeah. pit, like cool pit. He was a part of the family. Yeah, yeah he was being he, a dick. He was starting throwing elbows at cats' heads, and I started douchebag. even. Uh, yeah, and I said <laughs> douchebag status, yeah, right. and I started seeing uh, cats like pointing it out, like, "Hey, homie, you were don't watch the elbows to the head. You hit, you hit homie in the like cheek yeah. and the nose and." So it got, I guess, you know, food it, didn't want it no more. It got escalated to the Rose fight. Yeah, so, so, Rose fight so these show. fools, I mean, I don't know if it was a full fight. It was a, okay. That was a skirmish. It was a, where fools just got tired of this food side busting them. And, 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 er, and they kind of teamed up. That fool got pushed so hard, dog. And yeah, okay, okay, I'll get yeah, a couple, maybe they got a couple of times they tapped his dome, but. Bing, bing. This fool got pushed Sound effect, Shay. Bing, all bing. the way into the kitchen. 
Right. And that was funny as shit. And I just saw the owner look, had, look yeah. at me, though. He looked at me, because <laughs> it's my show, and he looks at me, and he just fucking runs to the kitchen. Like, I'm like, yeah. Dick, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Like, th- it's a fucking live fucking ghetto metal band. Let's go. That food, go, 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 go. That food got slid all the way to the, where they cooked the french fries, uh, I think, Doug. Well, like, think of Monstro and Knuckles when they get busy, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. oh, sh- come on. Pirujo, all of them cats. Oh, dog. yeah. They get foods, busy, bro. Yeah, hey, they, those were good But relevance, the, rel- the, the shows themselves, bro, we did, like I said, I want to say there was five. I think I was working on my sixth, to be honest. Dope fucking times. And that was another thing. It was like, same with Relevance. It was like, you know what? I've already done the show. Let's extend it to do some live events. You know what I mean? I want to rock. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody booking me. There's nobody really, you know what I mean, putting up real failure for me to go out besides out of the country, mm-hmm. out of the state. But my, I mean, my city ain't holding me down. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to throw my own shows. Yeah. And that's how it got started. And it's crazy to talk about it because that's, that's where I bring up you know, I want to say, you know what I mean, happy birthday and rest in peace to the brother Rec One. Mm-hmm. And what he did was he was doing the same thing I was doing. And when the Unity Project started, he started doing shows. Like, what we're not talking about is all the behind-the-scenes shit. Even though I'm hosting the show with Rabbit, I'm still fucking running around being the stage manager trying to get the next artist ready to rock. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then still trying to hit somebody up because they want to they wanna buy something at the booth. Yeah. And they, they're like, you know what I mean, or somebody say, hey, do you got the, the square on you? You have it. I don't. I'm like, all right, cool. And it's just like that's the, the the part about throwing a show, being full rounded, like not booking the artist, putting the lineup, getting the DJs, being like all of it, bro. There's like there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. Oh man, they to throwing an event. They don't even know like like sometimes. Well, most of the time, I'll say seventy five percent, maybe. Well, 80%. big up the wreck one, man. I, I thought of him right now when yeah. I thought about the relevant shows right now. Rest in peace, brother. A, a, man. Rest in peace to wreck one. Yeah, rest one. in peace, brother. Eighty percent of the shows that I've hosted, um, like I I run the stage too, like because I, I want to make sure. Because again, I go from the fans' perspective. Oh, you already you always had a fucking because yeah. I'm always prepared like that. Yeah. I always have the, the set the yeah. set list. You know what I mean? print it out so it's like it's on the wall the host we got them and but and you, you still got to track them down and, you got to get that, the artist and that's where like so as i started getting more seasoned i'm like okay I'll, i'm gonna be telling you i need this dude yep. up next but i'm not gonna be chasing them no more i can't run back for the fucking but they don't let me through there you know what i think i did that was kind, that was kind of smart and maybe to some people was like okay is i would always have the show track, you know what I mean, the, the, the show lineup, the set list, ready to rock. But I would also email everybody, their guest list, what they have. And I would say, look, please be there at least 20 minutes before the fucking set. Check in with somebody. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, it's, 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 right? Yeah, so it's the just, whole up there, hey, yeah, no, it's just so like, hey, we're, we're, we're yeah, out. we're here, like, and that's the, the one thing. And I, but I would tell people straight up in that same fucking email, if you're late, you're late. If you're five minutes late and you had a 20 minute set, you got a 15 minute show. If you come past your set, you're probably not going to perform. Yeah. Hey. And that's just the way the schedule worked because I already knew if I had six, seven acts, like plus the DJs, that light, the the night is sewn up and I'm running on time. And I, and I think a lot of the time it it boils down to that. Just uh, be honest with these cats. Sometimes it's like, bro, we don't. Oh, have, some hearts got broken. We don't have heads to, like, I mean, I'm sure, I only yeah. rock two songs, bro. Let's rock, let's rock a whole fucking set. Well, my bad, homie. Like, yeah, you your homeboy was getting fucking too busy fucking parking in the parking lot, whatever you were doing. Like, yeah. that ain't on me. Like, yeah, I'm trying to throw a fucking show. <laughs> trying to throw a show. And to top it off, all of them were benefits at the end of the day where we gave back a percentage of the money to an at risk place, you know what I mean, or to the youth. Yeah, that was another reason why I did it. And that's uh, I appreciate always that too. About remember how we um, when we did the relevant show because you know for the B side uh, I you know, I do a lot of that get you know videos all that stuff ready. We do the relevance radio. You would just bring you already had it on the flash drive. Here it is, videos. You got each. You, you see what I'm guy, saying, shit? Exactly. Ready to go. Like this hey, is homie, how we do maybe it. I'm that's tedious. Like, maybe I'm OCD. All hey, that shit. Hey, but, but you spoiled me though, because then I didn't have to do it. I just had to plug that in. And I just sat there and I got too far hey. up on some of those shows. <laughs> no, nah, but we still. And right but you did it, right? Show. Yeah, we did it. And <laughs> what he's trying to say is, yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> but but here's and here's the difference though between I, I want to be like this is something I think that should be said. For the first few years that we did relevance, at my pad. And it was just like this, wrong cut, just the artist, just the guest, 
We're playing music off CD, off fucking, you know what I mean, auxiliary, oh, off emails, off Spotify, iTunes, anything we could pretty much play at my pad. That's just the way I had it rigged. Good to go. But it was just wrong cut. Yeah. We fucking came here. We started doing that. But now it was music videos. You know what I'm saying? The show itself started getting bigger. You know what I mean? As far as what we were doing. And we had fun. And we had a lot of fucking fun, bro. Yeah. But between then and now, it's just like, it's, it's it was just, I don't know. No, I, I lost my train of thought of where I went, where I was trying to tell you. No. But it, it was just dope to be able to see us doing it from that playlist to this playlist. Two different places, but the, uh, the Aaron, authenticity the of it was still what it was like when it was on my pad. And it was dope to set it off because uh, when the first one we did here, when the Raka came through, that yeah. shit was dope. That shit was hard. The big ups to the brother Raka, uh, you know what I'm saying? set it off. Right Raka Ira Science, man, that. legend, L- L.A. hip-hop legend. I'll say and legend. And he busted some, some raw shit, like, live. And you know what? I, and I appreciate about him, too, man. That's another brother, man, knows black and brown, man, all the way down. The get let's, down, yeah, let's, yeah. Get, let's go, man. Oh, he's, he, one of his last posts were... Just basically telling people that if no matter what color you are, if if what you're doing is wrong, like you need to check your homie. Yeah. Like if you're out of pocket, you're out of pocket. Yeah. Like black, white, Asian, brown, red doesn't fucking matter. Like if you're out of pocket, you're out of pocket. If you're doing something stupid, you need you need to call you need to call your own fucking partner on it. Check. Like we we definitely need. You know what I'm saying? There needs to be... Check your folks first. And yeah, then. there needs to be more unity, man. Yeah, man. Let's go, man. And then, and it is that... Humanity. I've stuck, I've stuck to, you know, my beliefs on that race. I'm going to say that before we talk a little bit more, before we tail this out of my... Oh, I'm not even tripping. Things, I'm just, dog. I'm just but, looking at my phone, dog. It's but I was going to say, I, I'm sticking to that on my side is like, Hey, bro, I, I I grew up around so much shit. I, I, we moved so many times. We cultures, had to deal yeah. with different. Uh, I grew up around so many cultures, and I learned to kind of appreciate him. No, I haven't got to travel like I would like. Yeah. And then, like, when I probably actually got a chance, uh, COVID hit. Like, this was the year where I actually had a little bit of actual money to go, like. Do man, something. We were going to plan something and go little somewhere. Hawaii trip yeah, or something. Yeah, something, dog. And then, yeah, you know, but that's the way life works, and I'm going to keep moving like I move, but um, that's the thing I've seen. So but as long as you put your mind to it, brother, and you put on that bucket list, you're going to do it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get gonna there. You're going to do it. One where do you want to go? Masks or anything. Where, do you, where, where would you like to go? Uh, I've always liked, well, yeah, I eventually would like to go to Hawaii. I'll probably say uh, somewhere like maybe Tahiti or somewhere where because I want to some tropical shit. Yeah, some tropical shit With or some Mexico, clean or Jama- water <laughs> or yeah or Jamaica, uh, yeah. Jamaica or somewhere like that, and then Bahamas, uh, Baham that shit like that. Like I, I like that kind of yeah, Island vibes. Dog. like I want to just you want to yeah. drink out of coconut, I say. Yeah, and I want to like be just in martini the, in the fucking glass. I mean, a uh, umbrella in the glass, as oh, you right. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I just want to wear like a leaf. To, <laughs> yeah, hell yeah, the dog. blue lagoon. Dude, the, I'm gonna wear goal. a I'm gonna wear a leaf to cover my pito, and then that's but it. I'm gonna make sure that the leaf is not <laughs> big enough and it just hangs out. Tr- strategically like, placed. The, yeah, the like no, but <laughs> I want it. I want it unstrategically right, placed. Right. Uh, I want uh, I want the tip to be hanging uh, out past uh, the leaf, uh, like. Hey. Uh, but you know, to so your lady, no, he didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's cool with it. Like, <laughs> look at Shay. Look at Shay. She hey, wants but, me to show people. Hey, we'll we'll edit that. About, no, but what's crazy about the vacation? <laughs> the vacation thing, though. Like, uh, dude, I really, literally, we were just gonna go to Disneyland, like close, like no, no yeah. big vacation until that the whole COVID shit that closed it down is, is done. Like, dude, and now who knows how it's gonna I've even come back? I've been real I, talk. I just wanted to go to Disney. I haven't been in so long. Like, so. During this whole time, I've been, because my birthday was in June, quarantine birthday. Same here. Right? So I did July Vegas. Though. I did Vegas and Laughlin in the same weekend. Well, you know what I mean? Fucking did it. Since then, I've been to Laughlin again recently, last weekend with my son. Besides that, 
I pretty much I've been well, on, I've been on the shutdown. I, I've been anywhere either. But you, you know have I mean? to wear your masks and everything too, right? And all yeah. that shit. Yeah. You're, you know, I mean, obviously you're supposed to, but in like well, on Vegas on on the sidewalks, like well, on the uh, sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. but but I, but there was still a lot of people out there. I was oh, like, there's some right. sucios out here. Like motherfuckers were giving a fuck, you know. And uh, Laughlin now, when I went the first time in June, it was like it was chill. They weren't really tripping. You were drinking, like they had the mask off or whatever. Now they're like, they see you drink. Put the motherfucking mask back on. Like, they're on your ass. So, it is what it is. Yeah. And and you know what? And, Which, and hey. I've been quarantining my, like, I haven't done shit, dog. Like, have you done, have you done Parker, Havasu, the river? Have you done Colorado River just to go up the fucking, you know what I mean, hit a jet ski, go on a pontoon? Well, zone? some of the homies, I haven't oh, gone. Oh, I've done. Uh, I'm uh, asking, you, either one of you. I've gone. done Havasu back in the day. Okay. Yeah, and, and then the homies, the we got to. Oh. We got a how? Oh, you mean that? Like I'm just saying at all, right? Yeah, recently. No, I'm saying I'm saying in the last you know ten years or so. Uh, it was probably like about ten years, maybe. You need but, to go, brother, because I'll tell you this. But I got out. We had a houseboat. We did all kinds of shit, dog. You know what I mean? So. Well, this this all I was gonna say was that I went out there, spent money, and just to fucking dive in that river water. At 110 degrees and fill that shit. I told my son, I go, that was worth 300. Oh, that yeah. was worth what I just spent it in the slots right now. Just that vibe and what I get to do when I'm gonna hit the river. Like maybe I'm a river rat or whatever, but well, that shit is be dope. Drinking dog. some beers out there and they, yeah. don't, you, know, you know, know what I mean. Like the beach well, is cool and shit, but I like the river. Besides this, this that's on a deeper no. I feel what you're saying, bro. Especially with all this shit going on, oh, yeah. it's like to just be able to. It feels free again. Like, Decompress, yeah. fucking. We were hitting a jet ski at 50. Bro, dude, every week, okay, I don't want to go too deep because I'm going to drive myself mentally insane tonight. But, <laughs> I like, we've been trying to plan something. And every time, bro, like, I just wanted to go camping. So I said, okay, let's find a space. Like, we'll find somewhere where not that many people are at. Like, let's go far. Like, everywhere I look. And then everybody's booking it. Like, I fuck, dog. I can't. Yeah. There's nowhere I can get away, dog. And, well, and then but look at I'm the trying, dog. Look at the environment you're in now, right? Like, we're all, like, here, right? Yeah. Hey, and it's we're six feet apart, too. Pretty much. But, yeah. it, but uh, what I'm saying is, like, be, be, uh, besides the casino aspect of it, like, the river, even, like, the beach area of Harris where I stay in uh, in Laughlin, they have, like, a little beach front with sand and shit. Like, even that, like, people are keeping respectable distances. Now, are they out there with masks? No, because they're all fucking six feet apart. They're all fucking drinking and jumping in the river. But I'm just saying, like, I don't well, know. Like, well, how, I, I guess my thing is how much is it, how much of this, whether, it, like, we're on the decline or the incline. Like, sometimes, brother, like we did for, for the brother Rec, we just need to get out. We just need the bonding. Yeah. We need the fucking humanity. We need to see the friend or the homie and just, like, being some kind of some some sense of normality. Yeah. And I know it's it's fucked up and I, and it's crazy to say it because we should, you know what I mean? Like there's some people probably out there like they should be wearing masks right now or they're doing the fucking interview. Like I love that guy like that's true, you know. You know what I mean? But like I don't know. So for me, I'm just like I, and, and not that I should be thinking that way, hey, but I'm, I'm just but I'm, don't cough on me, dog. Right. Exactly. Right. But what I'm saying is I'm like, you kidding. know what? My freedom to me is kind of a little more important. Oh, I know, I know. I, and that's what I'm saying. Maybe if it's freedom of expression or just me doing me I, or being selfish, you can call it what you want, but like. So, so here's the thing, like, and mainly. But I do wear a mask, got it in my pocket. Mainly the, the reason I've been doing about, it, been doing it is because, like, I got a kid that's uh, asthmatic in the house. Right. So it's a little more, so, so we've been trying to do things, but that's what I was getting at is like, I really need to get out and go somewhere. Yep. So I figured, fuck it. Our family's like all together all the time anyways. Yep. Let's go randomly. And I just thought, like, let me go camp. I can't even go fucking camp, it's dog. Booked. Everybody's fucking. And I, so I'm like, I'm literally about to go find. That's a, what I'm trying to tell you. Though. Drive somewhere and find the spot on the side of the Brother, freeway. That's what I'm fucking trying fuck. to tell you. Like, we need to get I, out. I have a dope tent. I'll pop post So that what shit you're anywhere. saying right now. Right, what you're saying you were trying to do, there's like fucking seventy percent that are trying to do it too. <laughs> and that, what's what's crazy about what you say? We're all the, trying to get out. So my point is, I need to move somewhere else so I could actually do it because <laughs> yeah. I can't. 
if you want, if you're trying to grow your own crops and do all that, you probably should. If you're trying to, you know, there well, you not that get away, yet. Get away from the smog. <laughs> well, you probably not, should. Hey, listen, not that yet. Right now, I just want to go camping somewhere. I can't do it. Santa Barbara. I fucking can't. I tried. Look, I looked there too. Did you? I literally looked to fucking Arizona to fucking. Hey, bro, I can't. But then I see people posting shit, and they're, like, next to a nice yeah, creek, yeah, and I'm like, where all the fuck did you go, dog? Hey, hey no, but it goes with what you're saying, Fuck though. it, I'm going to take you to Azusa Canyon, homie. We'll yeah, have a good time. I go there, too. I can't get the... <laughs> hey, man. We I live walk there by from here. here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's right down the street, I'll dog. take you to Irwindale, dog. Here we go. I'm frustrated. Hey. You know the I've Been Known video? That's where we shot it. Oh, really? Azusa Canyon? No, that was Irwin- Santa Fe Dam. Right, Irwindale, but Irwindale side. Yeah. Yes, because I know, because oh, I reckon we used to live right there. Hey, and I, I remember uh, back... But when I saw that, Bronson put that on, I was like, oh, that shit is... When we walked over there, I'm like, that shit is dope. I hit up Bronson about that. Like, you always bigging him up from that video. Oh, yeah. That he one, killed that video. But he did a lot of good shit. But he even said... He's a creative fool. Yeah, though. he even said on that video, he goes, race. He told me, he goes, there's shit in there that I went and learned how to do when I did it. Like, I went and learned how to do it. Just to do well, it. Well, he told me just, that, too. Just to do it. Like, that, the clouds fucking moving and shit like what he was doing. I was like, that's fucking dope. You know, he didn't get paid extra. He did it just because he wanted to do it and, and make the video fucking dope. You know, and, and look at what he's done. He's done a lot of dope videos for a lot of people, bro. Still he, doing it. He told me that. Like, it was crazy because that's another cat. Like Shout to Bronson, man. He don't really like to talk too much in no, front he of the yeah, camera. No, but. He lets, his know, week, he lets his work speak for itself. I, I know the dude, so somehow I coaxed him to be here, but he said the same shit. I remember that. And this was a long time ago when we, yeah. uh, one of the times. That I, just you, sparked off my head right now him, we're talking about me videos. Me and him are, yeah. are homies and shit, too, but I remember him saying that, that he went and, like, did some extra shit. He wanted that shit to be right, and... And I said it showed, brother. You know yeah, he I mean? killed it, man. Yeah, big ups to him on that video because he killed classic it. shit. Yeah, if that's you got a good song too for anybody, you know, just catching on or whatever. I've crazy, been known. Crazy Ray's been doing his shit, and he's been known. But I've been known. Go check that video, directed by Bad Fame, man. It's dope, man. And, and just real quick, just I agree with you, Crazy Ray. Fucking, uh, let's get out and do something. But. Yeah, if you're gonna go into a store for about three, four, ten minutes. Oh, that's on principle. Like. like there's no problem wearing a mask for a No, I'm not. Don't, don't get no. so mad. Like, uh, there's a lot of yeah. shit going on. You know, like... You, no, of course. This guy went nuts. No, even, I, even, I in, even in the casino, like, when I was playing out there, I'm wearing a mask the whole time. I'm yeah, not taking... Like, I'm taking people, it off to take a drink. That's about it. Like... But you don't need to go nuts if they tell you you have to wear it. And, and if you're not wearing it, they tell you you're not. And then the people have gotten, like, violent over it. It's like, damn. Yeah. Really? Did you see that one the other day? This fool... Uh, non-fake news. He went... Uh, <laughs> non-fake news. No, the but, effect shape no, but this effect. dude, yeah, where is it? Hey, but this dude, um, he went into, like, is that one of them that you were talking about? This dude went into the store, and he started talking shit to everybody. Yeah, he went Because they were nuts. wearing a mask, and his his own son, his son had carried him out, and his feet are dangling, and he's still talking shit to people. And the son was, carried him out. The son carried like, him out, yeah, like so a he, baby. Like, he started going nuts on people because they were wearing masks. He's like, you're out. Like he was just going, and he's all yeah. slap the mask yeah, off your I'll face. Fuck, and you're a tough guy. Yeah, big but you know, it, it, that's that's some that's other shit though. You have to look at it once again. Devil's advocate in the room. Look at it from the perspective of I'm not even saying a conspiracy theorist, but just like look, the government is telling you you have to do this, right? You have to fucking do this. There's motherfuckers that are. A true patriot, though, to those that really know when this country was formed, a patriot was the one that voiced dissent against the system. Not the one that was writing for the system. Hey. That was a loyalist when this country was formed with Britain and the U.S. That was a real, right? So what I'm saying is this. I, I could understand the other side of it saying, you know what? Fuck you. Oh, I, I won't get it. do what you tell me. Hey, hey. Almost on some Rage Against the Machine. Like, and I'm not... And I'm not a lot of Trump supporters are the idiots that are out there fucking not wearing the mask being tontos and shit. But I'm saying, like, on principle, I get that side of the oh, equation, I too. Because it. sometimes I'm wondering, like, Tr- is it a hoax? Tr- but I'm like, no, motherfucker, you got, me. you got people sick in your own family over here. Hear, hear me out on this one, though. Well, I mean, I know you know this, too. But I get what you're saying. I completely agree That's with devil's that devil's out of shit. No, I'm a Gemini, bro. No, but I get Give that part. Fuck. I'm going to tell you both I'll, sides. And I'll go along with you on that. Except. You're an I, idiot. I stop, I'll fuck with you. No, I stop at the point where. I'm not a scientist. 
I don't know if it's real or not. Thank you. But I'm not going to risk my family's health, yeah. my loved ones, my mom's right. elderly, like getting there. You're going to be considerate. I got a little daughter. I got like my I, like I got yeah. people in the house that I got to worry about, and I'm not going to. I don't. Jeopardize I don't know. Be- I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not none of that. So on the on that side, I'm not going to go walking around going fuck what you think and go risk my family's health for it. Yeah. So Flattery. that's the thing. It's like that. Well, there's, especially you know, too, and it's like the extreme too is like oh, uh, they're ir- wearing a mask. Okay, for a few minutes going into a store. Yeah. But okay, if they're telling you, hey, here you you fucking inject this chip into your skin right now. Okay, that's a little different. Okay, yeah, no, I heard you too. And well, then well, okay, wait, hold on, right? You know, but you know, it's just kind of like you know, it's just depending on what they're asking you to do. It's like okay, how they control you by some mask that I fucking made myself or that I and again that my lady made for me or that I bought. Like, and we touched on this before. Is like they control us anyways. They got our social security, our All ID. That they know our address. They got our fucking. They could tap into our phone anytime. I said, I said it, motherfuckers. You, you ain't doing nothing. I like, said it on the on the Mike Bless verse. You know what I mean? I said the smartphone in your hand knows more than you think. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. been recording conversations and watching you speak. Uh, thank you. That's I just that literally. You know what I mean? And it's funny because when I wrote, I wrote a song called "Slaves of Technology," which is on the new album. That's been held back for like ten years. Not been held back, but I never wrote it. But the title's been there forever. Tap from Los Nimbabwe can tell you we've been talking about that song forever. Finally coming out, finished, done. Crazy fucking record. Pre-COVID, pre-coronavirus, but talking. What I'm saying, slaves of technology, crazy shit, crazy fucking record. And then it has relevance even after the shoot. But what I was saying is even when I was recording that song, I'm talking about the smartphone. And I'm recording myself. I'm like, you're such a contradictor. You yeah. fucking idiot. Yeah, like, you're over here talking all this shit, and then you're reading your lyrics off the cell phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck. Hey, but that's the shit, man. We're, we're all... And, and, hey, and addicted. It, Sly said it. Slaves of technology. And bro. we're we're all like, we we do whatever we do our own way, but it's cool. I hope everybody just keep educating yourself. Like, oh yeah. And that's like the shit you I. Know talk. What I mean, like, be I don't talk, it. Be I don't s- talk a whole bunch of shit, dog. I really don't because I like to, you know, I, like again, I would rather tell somebody that to themselves than to go over the internet all about that shit. Like I'll phone call somebody and like instead of like yeah. when it comes to that like now nah, i'm not gonna text you like call if they don't answer they don't answer but my my thing is is that um i'm not really that much a slave to technology but i do get it it's like i still want to handle shit the old-fashioned way type of thing yeah but i get it dog like this shit is tapped into like wait till you hear the song yeah, I gotta hear it. Yeah, wait till you hear the song and just everything I've touched on from then till now. It, it's 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 a trippy record that it's been in, it's been in the back of my mind for a long time, and I will say this: there's a snippet of it on YouTube, a quick snip, and the thing with this record, it was one of those records where I put a twist on it, and as much as I'm kind of rapping, it has more of a Trent Reznor Nine Inch Nails feel. So it's been me being experimental and really fucking around with the record. So is still, that w- still talking about what I want to say, but just saying, you know what? You're crazy racist. This is album number seven or eight, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And you could do what you want to do. So that was, go- that again, going back to that freedom. Yeah. You could experiment a little more with the with the music, bro, and that's dope because the fans are riding anyway. So yeah, Eclipse was feeling that. He, he, he wants to hear that shit right now. I just no, see, him, crazy, I see his face. It's dude. a crazy record. He, yeah. yeah, he just bashed his head through the drywall. <laughs> and like right now, I'm you guys can't see it on camera. <laughs> I told you guys, truth be told, on there, uh, slaves of technologies on there. There's another record <laughs> called Number One, um, that's featuring uh, Zilla from Army of the Pharaohs, AOTP, and Lawrence Arnell, which is a really dope record. I played it. I played it here on Relevance before. That's on the new record, and I have, I have about four. But I, I have like another four or five that are already written and need to be recorded. Oh shit! So, when's so this, al- no, this that's what I'm saying. The album is I could really have the album out by the end of the year, but I'm a, I'm gonna hold off. I'm a, I'm is a, there a oh, title? Shit. No, not yet. Okay, coming untitled. soon, man. Yeah, it's, gra- un- it's untitled. The greatest hits is out now, man. Make sure you guys check for that for reals. And then the the new yeah, album's man. coming. Crazy Race is working. He's always been doing shit, man. And I I do want to say, um, you know, uh, going back. Um, 
it was a good turnout for hip hop when we got to show up and show out last week for for the homie Rec One. That's right. Um, Rec I One forever, homie. Yeah, I just want to give back to that man, and uh, he's another homie I met through hip hop. A lot of mutual things. Solid, in righteous. Yeah, man, and and just wanted to bring people together to have a good time, and so, you know, real. I, I'm not gonna like dwell on it too much, but it's like. Even the little flack he caught at the beginning for the just the little unity part in the name, it's just that was it. Unity is a word, bro. Whatever. There's another. There's another realism no, records. Whatever. But it's about bringing. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's about bringing people together. That's what unity means. And um, he he was kind of giving light to that and, and shedding light on it. And what he brought, he did bring that because when we did that show Monday. I just want to say big ups to all them artists that showed up on this Monday. Oh, we, yeah, man. definitely we, represent. We did a social distance show. People have masks. I mean, we even like we tried to like it got a little crowded, but people were still wearing their masks, doing their like, man. you know, everybody doing their part. But um, and then moving in and out. But I do want to say big ups to all those artists um, because, man, they came. They through all really to, killed it. They, re- they? they came through to rock. Dude, yeah, you it was tell, a dope bro. night. It wasn't a crowd here, dog, and they had they were inspired, but they had to perform like there was a crowd in front of them, and they did that shit. You could tell they were all feeling it, though. That's the thing. That I thought, yeah, big up to all. Yeah, they did it. They did it for the brother Rack, man. Zanaloa, you know what I mean? Polka, uh, Mon's Army, uh, fucking uh, Astral Travelers, um, Cookbook, Indigenous came through with them to rock with Cookbook. Man, everybody just did oh their Moody thing, man. did Moody, his thing. Jane, yep. um, or hostel, MC hostel, the MC, yeah. hostel, the MC, hey, all those guys. Hey, I gotta get hey, all those guys. T- uh, everybody that came. Oh, and D- Divioso and um, Divioso. Oh yeah, then Merc, Merc, yeah. and then yeah, Merc twelve hundred did the vinyl set. Yeah, Merc twelve hundred played a good. record. I'm like, it was like second, third record in. That motherfucker was banging. Yeah, yeah. And I don't right, know who man. it was. I've never heard it. Speaking about never, I know hip hop. I never heard. It. I was like, who in the fuck was that? I was on my way over, like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know hey, I mean? these hey, everybody came and killed it, brother. Hey, hey. And, and before you uh, just tail it off, I just want to say one my memory, like the the main thing, like you're saying about the unity and about Rick. This is my memory of him. Is like uh, he basically um, kind of inspired me to do what I'm doing now. It's like, dude, way back when we were doing the the show when the B side started. I remember seeing him in the chat room and knowing him by just the name because it is when he first started because okay. it, it was an artist that he fucked was on the show. So you watch and he would be in there. And I, I basically talked to him on there before I actually met him in person. This is probably like sh- almost 10 years ago. See, and then after that, we just became homies. When I seen him at a show, when he came through here, he started booking artists here. I mean, just. Yo, you know, like Paul said, dog, gentle giant, bro. Was good, uh, solid, yeah. just real good dude. You know what I mean? Bought him a uh, drink. Yeah. He bought me a drink. Like, he was just. Rick was that cat, you know what I mean? I I used to try to go the the ones that I didn't host of his shows. I tried to go, and uh, like I would like try to pay my, like you would just make sure. Like, oh yeah, he wouldn't let I, me yeah, pay I to pay. get in. I yeah, couldn't. Yeah, he didn't. I couldn't pay to get in. That's crazy. Shit. Whether whether I talked to him for the month before that or not, like yeah. I just showed up. Like he was just like same here, Doug, and like that's just not like I. You know, I mean, I I support it other ways. You, you, you get what I'm saying. You yeah. guys know what I'm talking about. But it's like that food did it out of like a respect thing, and I always I always, always. respected that. Uh, always, like, fuck, motherfucker, I had respect for cats that put in work, and I and uh, you know, yeah. They they asked me, you know, what I mean, uh, when we did the, the you know, what I mean, when we did the things for them at characters, and and they asked me about when I first met them and shit, and I was like, you know what? I, at first, I was like, yeah, yeah. Remember doing relevant shows, and, and then I'm like, but I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like fuck that! I'm like, Rick bought my fucking international project CD off me, and that was in 2012. So I knew him before that. Yeah, like I think I've known him for like 10 years at least. You know? Oh, hey, and you know what? Actually, um, that that was his very first, I believe, interview on Relevance, and then we had him shortly after on B side, but those were his first two. And 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 I had talked to him after, and he was like, he was nervous. But like we were talking about on Monday's show, this this one that we just did, and uh, but isn't it crazy how he was nervous in that environment? But yet, when he threw a show, he seemed comfortable. As much as he even said like he never wanted to be the host. Oh yeah, we all know that. Oh yeah, he never wanted to be the host. Yeah, but 
wreck was wreck. Like whether he was sitting at the front door chilling or fucking, you know what I mean, rolling out or at the bar or, or you know what I mean, like chopping it up with hey, someone. He, he, uh, hey, bro, he was natural when he got into the interviews, even though he was all nervous and shit. Hey, brother. So uh, I want you just quickly, man, just run it down the line. Let them know where they could get at you and all that stuff, bro. Um, it's always good combo. Hey, and here's what I want to say. On this show right now, um, bro, we got to have you back. We'll do some shit. Like, we got to do some periodic shit where you just come through and we'll throw that on the podcast, bro. Cause hey, we, we got to do that Crazy Race book review because I know you like to read, too. Yeah, it, hey. I to do that next the time. short film's coming. <laughs> me and Drac. Oh, talk about it real quick. Yeah, the man. short film's coming. You can get at me. Realism.bigcartel. All the music, the merch, the greatest hits. Albums, releases, all that shit is out there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Instagram, Twitter, at Crazy Race. You already know the deal. Besides that, you're trying to reach out to me, just get at me. You know where to find me. There it is. Somehow, some way, somehow. Yeah. Check this out. This is the shout out, shout out of the year. Who is it? My son, man. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. Birthday, happy Dominic. birthday to my boy Dominic. You know, turned 17 today. The Dom Dada. You know, and... uh. He happened. He's going with mama this week, you know, what I mean? which is all good. You know, got to spend some time with him. We did the damn thing. But love you, kid. Keep up. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. You know what I mean? Stay focused. Stay passionate. Shoot for the stars, man. Don't let nobody, including me, tell you that you can't do it. You know, love you, kid. Uh, besides that, definitely want to shout out the folks. You know what I mean? Love my mom and pops. It's going to be their 50th anniversary on Saturday. That's dope. Married 50 years. I've been blessed to say that. That's you know some I mean? crazy shit, bro. That, that says a lot about who I am, brother. Oh, that's, hell yeah. That's, that's a whole other conversation. But yeah, man. It was my mother who got me into music. It was her love for, for playing soul music. You know what I mean? Rancheras and just a anything she can get her hands on when it came to vinyl or 45s. That's the reason why I'm crazy. That's the reason why I do music for a living. Hey, and she gets down in the... Uh, on the comida. Time. Oh, yeah. We, Man, the the macaroni, potato oh, salad, which shit, one was it? that was bomb, bro. Time, All yeah. of it, bro. Yeah, you had an busy. event here uh, for, you know, just I'm drifting off here. Yeah. I just started thinking about, but. Uh, Cut off my shouts, but go ahead. Crazy. No, you're going back into your <laughs> shouts. You're going back into your shouts, but. Just because uh, you got to the shouts. Mama, just because Mama you race. Piss. Yeah, Mama race. Mama comida. Yeah, that yeah. comida. But uh, Mama race, man. Uh, Love her. You, you, you guys, you did an event here. Yeah, and that was that was actually for the. You had some food. Yep. And but I remember I was like grubbing, and I'm going, damn, this shit is dank. And then he's like, Mama Race made that, and I'm like, and and she was there that night, and I'm like, holy shit, I had to go give her props for yeah. her. But yeah, oh, she can cook, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Go Ma back to your yeah, shout out. Yeah, yeah, Mama gets busy, but but shout out to the folks, married fifty, man. How'd you guys do it? You know what I mean? Like yeah. for real. It's kind of nothing a, but love, admiration. You know what I'm saying? The fact it's unheard that, of now, but oh, I hope course, I hope it's course. not for two. I hope we could get back to that. Yeah, solid family. You know, shit. And, and it's not it's not to say that that really should have ever said. It's not to say that everything's hunky dory. I said, oh earlier. hell like, no. I live in a dysfunctional family. I think we all do, but the fact that they've been able to maintain and, and appreciate each other that much that they were to stick through it mm -hmm. for fifty. I told them. I tell them both to this day. I go, like I, I don't know how you guys did it. Yeah. So I love you and I commend you for that. Um, but besides that, shout out to the whole fucking camp. I'm not going to even name everybody tonight. You know who you are. You know what I mean? Realism, it is what it is. Greatest hits out now. New album coming soon, Untitled. Your boy ain't going anywhere. You know what I mean? I got a short film. We are going to talk about that uh, prior to me having to take a piss. But the short film is coming soon. Written. And uh, co-directed by Drac from the B-side. What up, Drizak? You know what I mean? Uh, filmed and directed by me. The homeboy Alex. Ole Photos came through and helped out on the assistant side. And uh, we got a visual effects artist do a couple things. But we've got it's coming, man. It's called The Inner Demon. About 95% there. We, Me and Drag, no lie. We've been kind of perfections on it. And going back and forth for the footage we do have. It's been going back and forth. We've probably had about eight, 8 to 10 cuts already. That have been rendered, watched, critiqued, noted, re-edited. So that's where we're taking it. It's going to be about uh, 25 to 30 minute film. Who knows? It may, you may catch it on Amazon Prime. 
He may catch on a YouTube. That hasn't been decided yet, but the motherfucker's coming. I've shot videos. I've shot commercials. My first short film, so I'm looking forward to dropping this, man. It's going to be fun. good, and oh, yeah. you, you like to take on those challenges, of course, too, man. Of yeah. course. Of course. You know what I mean? It's like, and for me, with doing this one, you already, you already know it's going to open the floodgates. Like, I'm going to do another one. All right. oh, hey, I'm, getting All I know I'm, I'm going time, into film now. Next time, hit me up, acting, acting your old man. There it is. I, I played a crackhead. I played some. Uh, I played a. <laughs> I played a narc. I played a crackhead in some music videos. You could. You could. You could have played the demon. Shay. So like, so for who he casted, and when you see it, you could. You could have played that part. Oh, I can do any role. So there, he said any role. Hey, I even told uh, Echo last time when we did the last podcast. Hey, you need a stunt man. He said he hired stunt man. <laughs> yeah, hey, he said I, I can do that hey, too. I'm not, I'm not a jump off a ladder and just right. land on my back. But are you? Are, can you walk hey, on it glass? It might hurt for a few days, but can you walk on glass? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> that I won't do. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not good barefoot. Yeah, there all. it is. There I it can't is. even walk on the ground barefoot. It's too so hot. For no, me. I'll kick worm on glass. Yeah, nah. There no, you go. Kick, no, uh, but I'll, I'll jump off a ladder or something. Hey, make sure you guys stay tuned for that because <laughs> that's coming soon. Yeah, short film, man. Yeah, it's it, man. coming can't soon. Check that out. Man. Like I said, the, uh, the short film, but let's flip it off me for, for a second, brother. Let's flip it off for me for a second. This is rabbit season. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is episode three. Yes, sir. So now I'm going to ask you, which you probably already covered on episode one, but this is Relevance Radio Crazy Race asking you, why rabbit season? Why now? Uh, rabbit season. It's like um, that was a playoff of, um, you know, I, I, I did a, I've, I've done music. I had a CD called that, and it was kind of like, you know, I've been called rabbit, all that shit. So rabbit season was, I thought, a, a dope play off of, uh, off of it, it was kind of like between getting at people that actually, like, did support what I was doing, but then also the ones that, like, there's haters, bro, like yeah. we were saying. So it's rabbit season. So Like uh, plucking them off like it's duck season, but it's rabbit season. Yeah, dog. And that, you know, playing off that whole, yeah. X marks the spot. The, the, yeah, and we had the crosshairs and all that. But, but why it, now? But why, it, it was kind of like um, I felt, we, I think we talked a little bit on it, but it was like sometimes we get into such good conversations that um, when on B-side, like not that I had restrictions because I, I have a lot of input on that, obviously on the show too, but. But you stay to format. But yeah, I try to stay to format. Exactly. Thank you for that because it's not. And that's one of the things I wanted to get at. Thank you for asking, but it's it's not about me really. Um, it's about the artists I'm interviewing and shit. And that's what I wanted to bring as the entertainment aspect. And then, it, like in, even introducing acts at shows, it's not. It's just to add that extra element. But I don't try to make shit all about like, let's just talk about me or whatever. So, yeah. rabbit season. I just felt like. Why now is because now I could have a little in, more in-depth conversation, but also have the freedom to kind of say a little more of my own opinion. And uh, obviously, like ob from the first episode, it wasn't taken very well, like me just saying what I wanted. But, you know, that's that's why I even told my brother and he goes, well, you could say what you want on the B side. And I go, yeah, I can. But like you said, I'm sticking to foot. Like we're gonna do the B side show on the B side show, but yeah. on Rabbit season, I I could, you know, I have it's back to wrong cut. Uh, I have free reign and some we can go anywhere. Something bothering me, I'm gonna say it and and uh, and so then, let's speak on that. Let's yeah. speak on that because we talked about that a bit. Let's talk about current times. Let's talk about what's going on now. Yeah. We talked a bit about COVID. Yeah. What about? We talked about it off air. What about the, the Biden? Nominee, oh, uh, you know Kamala Harris, and, and just like oh, here, here, what's going on with uh, with with Trump and, and, and his, his, his tontoisms? This is what we were saying, yeah, the fucking orangeisms. But here's w what we were saying is like Cheetoisms. Like, um, um, I have to pick the lesser of two evils at this point, and I won't go. To, sorry, I'm not gonna tell. Like, this is the, this is the year, and I'm already older, dog. But I'm really gonna do all my research like this ain't just about the presidency anymore and like and i should have understood that uh, and that's my bad yeah i, I should have understood that a long time ago like if you have the ability to go to vote do that because 
I know people could say it don't matter. They're gonna do yeah. it, and and the truth is that's MVP. So and and you know thing. what? Truth is, for the most part, yeah. Well, when it comes but, to electoral, like there's, it's it gets bigger than that. Like but, one vote gets bigger than that. But when you're, um, but on a citywide and a statewide level, but it be, starts there and then you get bigger. But uh, and beyond that, I'm just saying, it, if you don't start somewhere, you, you it never gets going. So now that the movement's been going, like. People are actually getting outraged. Like it's time people are standing up, and this is how um, revolutions and shit like that start. Is like okay, people have had enough, so it's getting to that point. So now we're gonna go. So my my thing is I'm uh, I'm educating myself more than ever. I'm doing all my own research, yep. and I'm not gonna listen to people telling me what the fuck I should believe or not. I'm gonna do it myself and do what's best for my family. So with that being said. I'm going to try to pick the lesser of two evils. And I and I understand everybody has their pat. They Everybody's, all these politicians are we fucked got, up. We, we all have baggage, though. But besides. It's not even politicians, though. Let's just be 100 with it. Yeah. All three of us right here have a little baggage. Yeah. Whether we want to admit it or not. It's just, it just comes with being a human. Hey, and like you said, like, but like you said, like, that's the key where you said right now, city-wide and state-wide and all that. It, it means a lot because starts here because the thing is you know we can look at like this is like the government this is the evil this is like but there's people that like we've like know that people we've gone to school with and stuff like that you see them trying to get into the and they're getting into it they that's how they have to start citywide statewide whatever it is but these are like you know for a fact they're not like uh in on some conspiracy on like you know taking over the world or some like they're just like okay i'm gonna i know Paul, that they studied it they went to college for it, and they're going to get into it. And this is the way the change comes in. We got to get our own people into the, into the system. That's 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 that's. You know. And that's the crazy shit. I think about some of the, some of the people, that, minorities gravitate towards the most. May not even be politicians. They may be from the same neighborhood you were from, or somewhere similar, that could adapt and could and just knows the reality of what it's really like out there. Right. Being a politician really has a lot to do with being a good speaker. If you ask me, yeah, that's true. like, w what do you do? You're fucking you're 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 reading up on subjects and debating topics. Right. Like you could do it at the high school level. You know, what I mean, but it's but it's really like when you when you look down at the nitty gritty of of. Now we're talking about. Is that person believable? They're at a microscope, bro. They're at a motherfucking camera in front of millions. It, is what they're saying? Are they? Is that a script? Majority of it listen. is. Both sides of the party. You know what I mean? It's the fucking. Let's keep it one hundred, bro. It's the same fucking eagle with two wings, homie. Hey, but you got the lesser of two evils. You li just said. Listen, listen, bro. And here's but the thing. It has thing. a lot to do with I, speech, bro. I heard a, the the thing today with 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 Biden and Harris, and I will just say at least like I felt. A little hope for humanity. <laughs> like, he said a glimmer. Like a glimmer. He of said a fucking, glimmer of hope. Hey, bro, this motherfucker, this other guy speaks, and I just cringe. Like, he just makes me feel like there's no hope, bro. Yeah. Unless, unless you're a millionaire, a billionaire, like, yeah. you get no. A fucking thief. You yeah, know what I mean? A klepto. <laughs> you get, or a white supremacist. Oh, you yeah. Get no all love, that, all that and then like, some. Yeah, and then, like, it's like you don't have. The, it's like, I. I just want a little hope that I could still, you know, raise my kids in a in a place where there isn't a chance that they could, you know, make it bigger and be something yeah, and make an impact. Trust, or you could trust the president. You know, it's like, you know, that's one thing. Like, you know, you can talk about policy all you want, policy, this, whatever. But at the end of the day, if, if, if the guy just straight out lies to you and, and just – and you can't believe, and it doesn't encourage that things are going to get yeah, better. Yeah, what do they call him? Commander in chief, or where the fuck is he called? Yeah, see, that's the thing. He's an he's idiot, bro. He's the commander in chief, and he's, and he's, he's a he's, fucking idiot. He's supposed to be the voice of what you know. And, and, and it's it's even crazier to me because I have, I have people that I know. You know what I mean? Same I, here. Yeah, I have people that I know that really, that really buy that shit. No, and but I, the thing is, no matter what he like, it's the ones that buy into it. It's almost like they feel like. Um, or the one I get. Or here's the one I get. Here's the one I get. Not to cut you off, brother. I I do that a lot. You know me. Oh yeah, it's relevant. It's relevant. <laughs> but the the one thing I always get is, well, you took the stimulus check, didn't you? You you took it. Yeah. I'm like, 
when like wasn't really that like, his that pocket a, yeah what like exactly that but, was our but tax the, money but the funniest shit is is you got a letter from him in your mail signed off by him did you guys get it yeah, that shit was classic know, dude it was hilarious it's i got printed, it it's a printed out letter with the stamp signature hey, thank you and, and that shit i got it like three weeks after i got my money <laughs> i was just like this motherfucker got the gall the nerve homie yeah. dude it's our people ta- thought they they really, he really yeah. wrote a letter to them <laughs> it's a ta- it's our tax money yeah. as working people i've always paid i've worked for like many 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 years like and the thing is is like I've always paid my shit, so, like, I just don't want to be, when I get, you know, if I get profiled or pulled over, whatever, I just don't want to be treated like a piece of shit when I'm one of the ones that's been paying these right. these wages for all right. these years. no matter like, what color I am. Yeah, not, no matter what, and, and all this stuff, and I don't want uh, somebody to be out there preaching division when, when we're, we're trying to, like, dog, we need some kind of hope. We need some kind of hope. That's it. Dog. Damn so, right, so. Bottom line, get the fucking idiot out of office. Yeah, let's let's go vote, everybody. By, and by any means necessary, get the idiot, and idiot your, out of office. Do your do your uh, due diligence. Yeah, yeah of and, course, of and, course. And, and we're not we're not. I'm not. I, I, at least personally for me, I'm not telling you to vote Biden. I'm not telling you to vote Kamala Harris. I'm just saying get the fucking idiot out of office. And like me saying. personally, like real talk, like I, I was, you know, what I mean, and, and people went against me for it. I, you know, what I mean, I, I'm, I'm Team Bernie. Oh, yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? I, I'm Bernie Sanders, and you're like, oh, but he's a socialist and shit. But look at the platform he really stands on. Like at the end of the fucking day, like, so what if it's if it's fucking you know what I mean? Capitalist, socialist. I don't give a fuck what terminology you use. <laughs> hey, you know dude. what I mean? Hey, Humanist. You know, like, what does he stand for? Does yeah. it make sense or doesn't it make exactly. fucking sense? And that's it. That's and half it. the people that'll tell you go on your thing and tell you, oh, but he's a socialist. I bet you, like, there's a certain big percentage of them that doesn't even know what that social probably don't know what the terminology means. is. Yeah, yeah. They don't even know what that means. They yeah. just they just heard people say he's a socialist, so he's bad. Just like you know, and that's why you know professional like, trolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, that's some whole other shit though. Yeah. Look, look at look at where we're at. To the point where, our kids. I got a high school kid, right? All day, every day, he's on fucking watching memes. And in videos, reels of jokes, and I'm just like, yo, like, this shit really keeps kids. This, this is what keeps people entertaining. Like, he's not always, he's a gamer, but like, he's on his phone. I'm like, what are you watching? He's like, <laughs> he's just like laughing. I'm like, he's just watching fucking memes and like jokes all no. day. <laughs> not that it's bad. I'm just saying, like, look at look at the society of where we're at, technology of where we're at, where we just that, make fun of ourselves. Yeah, not only that, but we don't <laughs> even get we like. We're a you, joke to ourselves. Like, we don't even go on Goonie Adventures no more. Yeah. Like, we don't even, like, me and the homies don't even go fucking get a pickup game of b-ball or go oh, play man. soccer or fucking uh, right, over the line or, you know what I mean? Any of that shit no more because, not that, not that it's only not safe out there, so they're safe, but, like, we just, the kids don't do that. Mm. Uh, yeah, even before the COVID shit, though, like. That's right, what I'm though. saying. Like, remember we used to do that? It would be, like, every single Saturday. It was a man growing up, bro. Like we would just be at a, a certain time. Even when we were older, we were in our early twenties. It would show up at the park. We played basketball and like, something. But it, I feel, something it feels like yeah. Like there's, there's definitely really there's definitely a loss here. of humanity out there, yeah. and we need to get back to it. Yeah, man. So you know what? Crazy race for president, twenty twenty four. Let's do it. We're going all in. I MVP might, vice president. Nah, uh, MVP Pizzle. You know what, dog? I'm a, I'm gonna. I say MVP for president, crazy race vice president. Oh man! Because you have the fucking attraction, and then you have the one that's making sense down here. Uh, oh man! I think I'm not. It, sure. I'm not uh, I think MVP will. No offense, MVP. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think you could do it? You don't think you could pull it off? He <laughs> might talk <laughs> too. He might say something like "grab her in the pussy" or something. Like, I, I think MVP will wait, say wait, the grab her in shit, the pussy. The greatest shit about that yeah. is all of us were laughing before we could yeah, even come yeah, up with another yeah, sentence, yeah. <laughs> including Shay. You started off, Dick. What's up, my brother? MVP oh Pizzle. man! Hey, hey. We already got your shout outs, man. Yeah, we did something like that. And Crazy Race, you know what I mean? You already know the name, man. The, the best way to get at you, though. Uh, Don't. Yeah, that's good, too. Unless you're talking money, unless you're talking, you know what I mean? We're talking, then get at me. But if not, then hi. Hello. Yeah. Hey, but. My name is. Yeah, my, my name is Slim. Hey, did you guys speak in the memes? Did you guys see that one, like. 
2020 has been rough. <laughs> Look what it did to Eminem. Wow. And it was fucking oh, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> That's man. fucked up. That was like really that horrible. Was, holy shit. But they That's got the. Horrid. They got, I mean, you know, she's not the most super modelist anyways. Right. But, but uh, she's dope. They No, Love she's, smelling, she's funny as shit. She's dope. But they used the most unflattering picture ever Over. and go, oh, look, so, look what happened to Eminem. Like, 2020 oh, style, shit. man. Huh. Uh, that shit was hey, but I, I am saying this. I'm looking forward to 2021, bro. That's why I, That's yeah. why I'm like, you know, in, uh, in the, my best reality, my son will be able to play the game of baseball again. We'll be able to go back to fucking school for a senior year if it happens. But, you know what I mean? Obviously, if not, that's what I'm saying. I'm hoping for 2021. You know, we fucking ride on. Uh, hopefully, we don't have this fucking, you know what I mean, Orange Cheeto in office. That's hopefully, it. we'll get back to some normalcy. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Uh, yeah, that's like yeah bro. It's, cra- it's crazy. Like, and, and not even to go off tangent, but even being at, like, the show on Monday and Rex thing, mask on, mask off. You start like really fucking having some anxiety about like, yo, should I have fucking just have my mask on the whole fucking time? Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like you said, you have somebody asthmatic in your home. I have elders in my home. Like, it's not even just about me and my son anymore. It's like, it's about other people. Yeah. It's like we talked about earlier. It's even having the common courtesy. And it's just like, it's, it's, we're at that fucking point. Like, it's, hey, it's crazy. And you know, you know what? Somebody- I almost want to believe that it's not real. No, I, I, I mean, I feel you. I don't, I don't, I don't like being controlled. Trust me, bro. Yeah. Like I have my first fuck get, you. Get I tape. won't do what you tell me. Couple of taste. Fuck you. I won't do I what went, you tell I me. I went to jail a couple of times, and I said, "Oh, this is not for me. For me. I right. can't have right. somebody telling me what to do yeah. all day." So, all day. so I said, eh, "Let me fix the way I'm doing shit because this uh-huh. ain't gonna work." So. But that that and somebody told me at work to the it was crazy. It was a conversation random, but it just like basically cats going in at when all this shit's going on. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You have no idea. But by going into places, sometimes like being so anti mask, it's almost like you're just walking out saying, fuck all of your lives. Like I can care less about other human yeah. beings. I only care about myself. And yeah, I, that's, that's that's being a little self centered. Yeah, I, I will give you that. And even if somebody else is wearing a mask, why would you get so, mad at them? <laughs> this is how we're gonna close it out because this is now turned into the crazy race fucking season, right now on the outro. Crazy status. season, crazy hour. Yeah, cra- no, that's MVP drunk hour. <laughs> this is just crazy race. Yes. That's what I'm gonna say. Marijuana. Uh-oh. Where do we go from here? Um, however you want to state it first and anything we talked about, where do we go from here? Okay. First, and this is, and this is real talk. Yeah. First, I'm going to go home and just hug all my whole family. Thank you. And that, that's it. And that's what it boils down to for me is I keep those fundamentals. Like we grew up fucked up. We've been through a lot of shit. My brother can attest. Like we've, we've seen a lot of shit that we probably shouldn't have a young, like different things. And like, but what what what's always been the fundamental is like let's hold our integrity, our family values, you know, respect for each other, and that's like to me that's where I go. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna keep it the same way, bro. I'm gonna stay away from people. There you go. Like, but like I, people make me angry a lot, and I'll stay away from them. But I'm gonna still keep myself like that with my head up and my chest out. That's, that's right. right. Say, Whitey, where where do we go from here? Uh, man, it's pretty much the same, bro. Like you know what. Like, just family and just stay close to, you know, like, take care of each other. Uh, I mean, hey. We need each other the most right now, you know what? And, uh, like, you know what? And um, whatever happens, happens. But, like, you know, I, I'm just trying to do, like, you know, my part or whatever I can. Like, you know, like, I, I, if I can wear a mask, I work all day. Um, I'm just trying, you know, I try not to go out. Like, I, I pretty much, I mean, I guess being old, that's what you do anyway. But, yeah, uh, we become hermits. But but you know what? I'm just I'm just like but 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 still we have to continue what we're doing here. Like because I feel like you know I think people like look to s- stuff like this. You know like uh, you know maybe that are going through shit. Maybe they look to, to for a truth, little relief know? from yeah. the norm. Yeah. Maybe they watch. You know like who know you know and, and you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do my part like as much as I can just to to keep creating and just to you know like keep people. And that's you know, that's that's what's positive. You know. 
that's what I was going to, that's, that's the, the, to tail it out is um, pre COVID, pre quarantine, pre all this shit, even during relevance. I haven't had a full time holiday actual job for over five years. So, what we're talking about, I've been doing. Mm hmm. And it's been the best blessing to be able to do it. Now, are there months that are hard? Fucking A, they're difficult. Are there months where I scrape by? Yes. But to be able to keep my head up, do it, keep fucking ticking on, being able to be with family, you know what I'm saying? Be with my son, being able to say, you know what, fucking, when he's not in school, obviously, because when he was in a, you know, a summer school or whatever, like just being able to be like, I'm not working today. Let's go. Let's go to the park. It's been about that. So when, when this shit did hit, like how you guys are talking about being all about family, this is something I've been doing for a long time, and it even felt better to be able to do it again. And almost like knowing that I'm not even supposed to go out, so I'm like, you know what? It gives me even more reason to stay home and be with the family. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But to really, because you see the news and, and the fear-mongering and what they're putting out to you, like, to really truly cherish what you still truly have mm -hmm. by not being sick, by not being a ventilator, but not, you know what I mean? Like it's, it, it is happening to people, whether it's COVID or something else, like this shit's really happening. And uh, just being able to spend the time, like we talked about, man, w with our family, with, with our parents, with our seeds, with our loved ones, that to me is, has been priceless during this quarantine, during this time I've been working hard. The pin has fucking been going. I, I, I told FaZe the other day, pin game flame. Because, like, I feel like where most people have been stepping back from it, I went full tilt. You know what I mean? Like, besides the greatest hits and doing it, because, like I said, just taking out and fucking putting up the vinyl and doing the track listing took a month and a half. But I did it. Pulled it off. Got the pre-orders that I, we needed to make happen. You know what I mean? My supporters supported it. We did it. Almost sold out. You know what I mean? And it feels fucking great. But I'm, I've still been going. Like, that's been just half the equation. Like I said, with the film, with the short film, doing that, and then still doing marketing for my CBD companies, what we didn't even talk about. Like, all that has been inclusive during this time frame. Like, and it's just been, it's been a lot of work. Like, I, I don't feel like I'm not working sometimes. Yeah. Do I get to sleep in my schedule? Yeah, there's some days I sleep later. Fucking A, I do. No lie about it. You know what I mean? Do I take naps? Hell yeah, I do. If I want to. But at the same day, at the same time, in the same field, like I feel like besides the family time, it's still been putting that effort in, getting up, marking that motherfucker in my calendar like this one needs to be done today, my planner. Lived by, lived, lived by it since my college days. Still use a fucking planner day in, day out. If I don't write it down, I don't do it. And you know and that's what? Work. That's right, and bro. you know what? And that's the thing. No matter what's going on, we just really, until it's all said and done, until we ain't, till we ain't waking up no more, we gotta keep pushing. And and uh, while we're here, let's go, man. Through the haters and all, motherfuckers. Oh yeah. yeah. All and we in. we know who you are. We see you. Yeah. But believe we it or see not. You. Yeah. Hey man, thank you, bro, for coming through and chopping it up with us because. Um, I told you we, we would clown a little bit. We'll have fun, but we talked about some real shit and and what it takes to grind and really keep the uh, you know the momentum going, especially for the situation, bro. So thank you, my brother. Thank you, brother. Hey, right. much success to both of you, man. Thank you. Crazy race in the building. In the spot, man. Third That's episode, right, man. Rabbit Season Shea White. Podcast. You soon. That's right. Rabito, right here. Right here. Uh, Tell the fuck in. We'll be chilling soon anyways, man. Peace out, brother. Fuck you, rabbit. <laughs>